Hello, welcome to another episode of SDS. Now, it feels like it's been a while since I said those words, because it has been, all right? It's been a couple of weeks. We have had no episodes last week, but I can assure you we are back properly. Um, we rarely take breaks. So you know if we do take a break, it's for good reason. And I'm pretty sure you know why, because you've probably been seeing it all over the internet. But the reason is that most, almost all of us, we're away the last week. We were all in Qatar and we're now back. Round of applause for everyone. Welcome back. We are back from Qatar. The reason we're in Qatar is because um, I was playing in the Match for Hope game alongside some of the some of my friends and some other legends, which we'll speak about really quickly in a second. And uh, also the boys were there and they were heavily involved in the game. Um, but before we speak about that and the Premier League round up and all the games this weekend... Let me introduce who's on the table today, because I, I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of this table. I can't remember when was the last time we even had this table. But, Faisal, I know I said we've been back. We're back after a couple of weeks. <laughs> You're back after over a, almost two months. Yeah, it's been a while. Six weeks, huh? Damn. Six weeks. Six wow, weeks. man. Welcome back, man. It's good to be back. I know I missed this, man. Yeah. It's you know, you know, on, the way, on the way here, when I, when I drove here, I was like, well, <laughs> does it feel weird? Where am I going? Well, it, it feels long, bro. You're almost the same color as the table, the tan. Yeah, you, yeah, you tan. You, and, yeah. and I was in Iraq before that. Yes, so, you went to Iraq in the bro, yeah. it feels long. I'm you sure you wasn't on a run from anyone. Ah. <laughs> for a while. Just, just beat the case. Yeah, you just beat the case. What's going on? <laughs> he, he just beat the case. Yeah, like, it feels long, man. And yeah, also, Fuizzi. Welcome oh. back. Liverpool, top of the league. Oh, Liverpool, yeah. Liverpool, top, top of the league. league. Liverpool. Oh, yeah. Liverpool, 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 this is the only episode you will see that shirt up there, guys, because after this episode, I will sign that exact shirt and I'll give it to you. Thank oh, you. hey. The glazing is crazy, but yeah. I respect it, man. That glazing. It. You know what? He found the glazing on the episode. What yeah. I first? Follow my double glazed it. Follow my move. Depop, guys. Follow my Vinted. No, no. You could take that home. So, Thank yeah, you, it's, it's there now. That's my match worn shirt. Uh, the game finished 7 5 to Team Chunks. You did a coin toss. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, my. I can't believe hey, it. Professional coin toss, bro. No, yeah. this is. You're two out of two, you know? This is crazy, bro.
pounds. And probably yeah, still yeah, more. Yeah, going over seven and a half million yeah, yeah. pounds. All for charity, which is amazing, amazing, amazing yep. experience. To, and everyone's a part of it. Exactly. To education above all, which is a a, a great incentive. Um, and there's a list of countries as well that is uh, that they'll, those proceeds will be going to. So I am genuinely, genuinely honoured and proud to have been involved in mm. something that raised that much money. That crazy, that is. No, no, yeah. like, no, crazy. Now, now I'm thinking about it, it's like, that's insane. Like, the mm. game doesn't matter. The match itself doesn't matter. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, how much money was raised? It was crazy. You're winners, um, isn't it? You're winners. Yeah, exactly. It was insane. Like, come on, like, end of the day. Uh, and you won man of the match as well. First, hey, man, first controversial ever. man of the match. Very yeah. controversial. Very controversial. Hey, 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 in, very in my eyes, yeah. wasn't the man of the match. I think Philly was a man of the match. In my eyes as well. In, that game. He had an amazing in my game. eyes, he wasn't in the top five. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, 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 no, I would put him. Yeah, you had a very good first half. First yeah. half. Yeah, he had a very Second good first half. Second half. The thing is, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a harsh critic. I'm a harsh critic. When I was watching it, I remember I was watching it from the stands, and he had you had a lot of first touches in the first half compared to everyone. You and Philly, it was you, Philly, Kaka, which is Matt, say. You, Philly, Kaka had probably the most touches from Abu Fala's team. See, see, this is what happened. So I feel like. First 15 minutes, mm. I was so you good. Were active. I felt like I was so good. First yeah, 15 minutes. Active. This is my story time. Then there was, so basically we planned for Hazard to be playing left wing. Because we're not mm. obviously, so we assume he's playing left wing. Mm -hmm. Thogden, you're playing uh, right back. Thogden had a solid game, by the way. And we're like, Philly's on the right side of midfield. They're going to double up on Hazard. That was the plan, mm. right? So we're playing, blah, blah. I start off really well. I'm getting on the ball. I'm moving it, yada, yada, yada. I'm playing it with Mac this is same. Bacalini yeah. and Kaka. <laughs> like, everything's crazy. Then really, uh, like 10 minutes in, I realized Hazard's playing in the 10. Mm. And I'm thinking, wait, this man's obviously he's Eden Hazard. Less than two years ago, he was playing for this team. Yeah. Like, he's mm. fresh. Mm. So I'm not deluded. I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to go to, to Hazard, but also I'm thinking like, I'm in a football match. I don't mm. care. In this moment, I don't care if you're Hazard. I'm not going to you know, fanboy. I'm just playing as another human being. So I'm, I'm like, you know, let me mark him for this move. There's a play mm. where he was, no one's picking him up. I'm like, come on, I'm going to follow Hazard. Hazard looks at me and he's like, you follow me? Yeah, he's like, you follow me? And I was like... He actually said that Yeah, time. bro, literally, yeah. in the game, bro. He's like, you follow me? And I was like, yeah. He's like, good luck. That's elite. <laughs> that is so elite, man. You know, I think if, if he said that to me, I'll get a boner. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I actually think I'll get a boner. I was like, wait, I was like, bro, I'm, bro I was, I'm not a bitch, bro. I said, you're say good luck? Cool. I know, I know it's Hazard. I know I'm not going to get the better of him. Mm. I know I'm not. But in that moment, I think I can. It's mm. a football match. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Cool. So good luck. <laughs> now I'm under Herrera. <laughs> bro. Now the next 10, this is why he's a genius, bro. Next 20 minutes, yeah. he took me out of the game. Yeah, you didn't. Because I'm just yeah, following yeah, him. I didn't yeah, sniff yeah, a ball, yeah, bro. Completely. I'm just trying to follow him. I can't get near chasing, him. You're chasing. By the time I get near him, he's moved the ball on already. Chasing. Then he's already moved. Then he's done this. Yeah, yeah, then he's done that. And then it's David Villa here as well. So I'm, I'm picking in the middle of David Villa mm. and Eden Hazard. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like, there was a, David Villa's first goal, bro. I'm like in the middle of both of them. David Villa pulls off for half a second, turn around, he gets the ball top bins. I'm like, damn, what's going on? Then I get the ball a couple more times. I lose the ball a couple times, and it's like shit. I'm like, fuck. first half was done. I had a better first half than second half. Um, and then yeah, I ended up getting MVP. I don't agree one because we won the losing team. Two, I don't think I was anywhere near the best player. But yeah, should always be winning team MVP. Should be winning yeah. team. And I, I would have probably given it to Harry Panera. If you can't give it to yes. the footballers, no. But Harry Panera. If you look back at the stats, yeah. own goal and he conceded a penalty. Own goal and he conceded yes. a penalty. And the own goal came from me. Yeah, the own goal came from yeah, me. Yeah, you did. Uh, you cut it back and Eman should have tapped it. Exactly, in. own goal and uh, and the gateway penalty. You are right. So, so that is on the sofa score. That's a bit so of a bad game. score might know? be a bit low. Like, on the eye test, <laughs> no, he had a good no, game. Yeah. But if you're looking just from stats, you're like, hey, yeah, right. this guy probably Tayo, like a Tayo, six out of ten. Tayo had a decent game as well. He had all right and game. And Ginge, I think Ginge had Ginge was quality. Anyone that got near him, but for me, generally. One of the best players on the pitch that was very underrated was Alfie Exetinia. Yeah, he had a solid, he played elite. solid performance. Right, when he came yeah. off the bench, yeah. like no one really got past him. Even AJ, in the very fact, uh, it was solid. Who? It's AJ. AJ. AJ, AJ, yeah, yeah, AJ. AJ was solid. But AJ no, for solid. me, my favorite player on the pitch was Philly. Oh, he, yeah. For always, me, always, that, always, always, always. I, I said it after the Sidemen game, he is the best YouTube footballer. I agree. There South is. American, isn't it? I agree. Yeah. It's like, he's the best. Actually, like, it's just, he has to be He glides, he's just so good. But the ex pros for me, I couldn't believe how good they still were. Kaka. He was just like gliding. Like it was nah, like for me, it wasn't even Kaka. For me, it was it was Makalele, bro. I was so surprised. I, was I didn't even see him in the game. That's how good he was. Bro, he was unbelievable. You know when someone's so good, you're just like, oh, yeah, I forgot yeah, he was playing. Like bro, he's bro, everywhere, he was but you just forget. Like playing, playing next to him yeah. was an honor. Like yeah. Yeah. now I understand why he had a whole role named after him. I yeah. genuinely understand yeah. it. Like yeah, yeah. he just understands it so perfectly. He doesn't. Mm. He just he just knows where the ball's gonna land. He doesn't make tackles. Yeah. He makes interceptions. Yeah. Like, yeah. He knows smart, where yeah, that ball's smart, gonna go. Um, but it was unbelievable. There were some really good moments in that game. Some good goals. Speed tackle on Kaka was insane. I think oh, he was getting Kaka, killed Kaka for it as well. Angry as well. Yeah. Yeah. That Brazilian market. That Brazilian, they were killing him. Killing if you look at, um, I think
had. But a shout out, a shout out to Absent Lee for that commentary role. No, they yeah. smashed it. And first, first time as well, first time doing it, incredible. Also, shout out, shout out Qatar yeah. as well. When shout you out. asked Hazard for a picture, what did he say to you? I never asked Hazard for a picture. He never, he never asked nothing. I never, I, I never asked. Uh, Hazard looked at him and said, who's this guy? I never asked Hazard. For a picture, I asked, I asked pretty much most of the players there. The only person I didn't ask was Eden. Uh, like wow, my, relationship, my relationship with Eden is finished now. Ah, oh, never like had a relationship. It's like the David Beckham one. Damn, you never had a relationship. You know, Hazard either. right now just fell to his knees watching this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's finished. Hazel. It's finished. It's insane. But yeah, that whole no. experience is insane. Um, I think they're planning to do it again next year, so that'll be yeah, really hopefully, good. Yeah. Um, it was uh, for me. It felt like I was in the VR headset. I felt like I was in an old Nike advert. Ugh. I was on the pitch. I was forty, like thirty odd thousand fans, thirty to forty thousand fans in front of me. I'm seeing like Kaka's here, Makalela's here. Uh, Drop was right there. David Villa's here. Hazard's there. Like I see Roberto Carlos in the distance. I'm like, what is going on in my yeah. life? Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, that was amazing. I really, yeah. really enjoyed it. Um, I had a really funny moment with Drogba as well in the change room. I posted out online if you haven't seen it when Drogba mocked um, Arsenal for not winning the Champions League. I think Asip should put it right now. Asip, yeah. put the clip. Oh, oh, yeah, David, yeah, one more thing. I need to get off my chest. I'm an Arsenal fan. Growing up, listen, listen. Growing up. You broke my heart so many times. Sorry. So many times. I had to do the job. Every single game. This big man over there inspired me. I had to Every do the job. Every single game against us. Come on, man. Arsenal was my team, you know? Bro, really? Bro, no. Bro. This is some rich. With DNS, uh, yeah. yes, Andy, Guto, and my boys. Yeah. You so, know? did you not have, like, did not hurt you to score? No, 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 But for us, it was like, like a competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who owns London? Of course, you know? of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who owns London? Us, man. London is blue, bro. <laughs> Never. What? Right now, right now. Like, what are you talking about now? We're not talking about this 10 years. What, what, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because you, 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 you helped him do that. No. How many Champions League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? How many? This year, this year. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. That's painful. No, that's painful. I hope you enjoyed that one minute long clip. We're back. Uh, but yeah, that was amazing. That's where we were for the last week. Match for Hope in Qatar, uh, Doha, Qatar. Uh, it was really, really good. Really enjoyed it. We all did. We all out there. Most of us were out there anyways. Uh, but we're back now. And um, the biggest game of the weekend outside of Match for Hope was the Carabao Cup final. And I'm not going to lie. What a game that was. What a game. Like you guys always have nil-nil finals. Up nil-nil until obviously last minute. And what is you, this nil-nil final? You know, what is world, the you know why it means the world to me that, that uh, that's my first time witnessing Liverpool lift up a trophy, like being there in, <laughs> yeah. in the stadium. Yeah. I've never seen my club lift oh, a trophy. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, I've never gone to a game. I don't where think any of us have. Well, yeah. you've never been Wembley like yeah. live in the No, I've been, yeah. Wembley, I've, I've been Wembley, but I'm saying I've never seen Liverpool lift up a trophy. Yeah, I've never gone to like a cup final six, or anything six, like six. that. Does the Emirates Cup count? <laughs> no. No. Only the FA Cups, but I didn't, uh, I didn't get to go to any of those finals. No, I didn't go to any. I've never seen an Arsenal final live. Because the most recent FA Cup was COVID. Yeah. Yes. And then once before that, I was yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't afford a ticket to Wembley. I was like yeah, 20, yeah. bro. Yeah. So I um, think I believe I'm the first person in the SSA to see their club lift up a trophy. Mm. Like, anyone want to say the, yeah, yeah, the, the United boys watched them lose the FA Cup last yeah. year? Did they go to the Carabao Cup final against nope, Newcastle? Nope, they never. Last year? No. They, now, I remember no Lee Band almost went, but he got quoted a crazy price. Uh, I remember, and he was fuming. Yeah, no, okay, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very for much. For seeing your know. youth team as well. Yeah. Youth, youth team. You see what happened? They went to school today. We went back to school. Yeah, it was today. hilarious. They were getting random of rules. They were by teachers. How old was the youngest player that came on? 14, I think. <laughs> that would be surprised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just checking. Nice. Like, <laughs> it was I was because I didn't watch the game. I was in the air. Yeah, I just yeah, saw the yeah. highlights. Oh, I was wait, wait, back. before actually. So sorry. Yeah. Let's speak about the Carabao Cup final. All right, I told us he to remind me. Didn't remind me. But I've just remembered. One more thing from Doha in Qatar. Faisal. Oh, <laughs> Faisal. There was a bet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, there was a player I forgot to mention that also played another legend. I'm so sorry I didn't, uh, I didn't mention because he, he came on late in the game. Faisal had a bet. We played a lot of paddle out there. You know, if you know me, you know I love paddle. Faisal had a bet with Mr. Tim Cahill. Timmy. Ah, oh, Tim, what a nice guy, man. And Faisal <laughs> guy. lost a bet. And I <clears throat> promised Tim Cahill, and I'm going to send him this clip, that Faisal will fulfill his end of the bet. So Faisal, was, please. Was, the, bet, uh, the bet basically was like uh, me and Timmy. You lose, you lose <laughs> the paddle. Great friends. Timmy, <laughs> oh, yeah, to be fair, to be fair, Faisal. What do you call him? Timmy, Timothy, Tim? Uh, like, what do you call it's him? Tim Cahill. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cahill. It's Timmy. Uh, listen, I'm part of the family now. So I'm part of the family. So go on. Uh, <laughs> Faisal Cahill, go on. Uh, we played a lot of paddle <laughs> yeah. uh, before before all of you guys. I was there for five weeks. I know. Towards the end, we, we made one final. We were like, listen, Shark was there. Last game. If me and Sharks beat... Uh, Tim and his and his son Kaya, great, mm-hmm. 
great guy. We they will then say something on their story. Mm. However, if they would be us, I wouldn't come on SDS the first episode back on yeah. SDS and say that Tim Cahill. Look at the camera when you say it. Yeah, look right into the lens, please. Tim Cahill is a much better paddle player than me. There you yeah. go. Oh. There you go. There you go, Tim. You deserve it. And basically, basically it. It. why does that pain you? You got a premier. I told him to his face. Like when I'm, you know, I've never. I've met so many footballers. I've never fanboyed before. When I saw Tim K, I was like, um, I went up to him. I was walking with him because we was doing something together. I was walking with him and I looked at him and I said, Tim, I said, I'm actually like so gassed to see you. And he was like, why? And I was like, you're Premier League heritage. Yeah, yeah, fact, yeah, like, fact. I used to watch you every week, yeah. bad up teams with your headers. And he was like, he wasn't a big striker. Like, and he was a midfielder that went into striker and he became a good striker. And I told him, I was like, you're Premier League heritage. And he hugged me. And then he was like, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Then he followed me on Instagram. And I was like, you know Save what? Her. I was like, the you know what? I got Tim Cahill following me on IG. The moment now. he followed me on IG and he gave me his number, I was like, well, I made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I made it. But, yeah, like, but he's such a nice so guy. So humble. Yeah, generally, yeah. Uh, such a great guy. Yeah, he such is. a great guy. But a, a decent paddle player as well. Nah, he's, uh, better, he's, he's better, like, better than you, like, man. Better. You're much better. Okay, that's been fulfilled. Okay, back to the Carabao Cup Sorry for taking your moment. No, no, no. He just took your moment away from me. I wish I spoke to him as well. Yeah. No, I'm joking. I'm not. Well, he played for Everton, so. Exactly. Who the ops? Facts. No, chat to us. Give him another English team you played for. <laughs> Who? Tim Cahill. <laughs> Millwall. Oh, oh my God. Oh. You actually got it. <laughs> oh, I didn't oh. think you. Don't play. play, play. <laughs> uh, yeah. I promise Faisal wouldn't have got that. Yeah, yeah no, Faisal no, wouldn't no, have got that. No, no, Millwall, no, no, you no, didn't. Like, nah. nah, 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 I have to come up with respect. Me. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Respect me. He's I hear it. Not chill. Respect I hear it. Don't <laughs> ever to respect ask me, dumb stupid. Respect. I, well, I, he surprised as well that he, he got not Mourinho. Don't ask me dumb stupid questions again. <laughs> okay, Whoa, so I hear it. Ever. Sorry, man. I hear it. Are you going Go back to Wembley? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we yeah. were both there the day we landed yeah, yeah. we landed that yeah. morning you lot are sick as well. I said from before. Yeah, no, he asked me specifically. I said, yo, I need to return back for that game. I said, I need to be here, innit? I don't care what's happening. Mm. I remember Shaka was telling me, oh, there's a possibility there might be a beach day at, at the end of the trip yeah. where we all go meet up and yep. link up in the beach or something. Mm. It's going to be a private beach. I said, no. Liverpool. I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going Anfield South. <laughs> I'm going Anfield South. Like the arch went red, fam. Yeah, crazy. The mm. arch went red. Mm, mm. Like, yeah, it was... Oh. Well, chat I'm so happy, man. But the it game was mad. The game was like, it was a really... <laughs> Entertaining, no, no. Yeah, yeah. There was so many shots, moments, targets. so yeah, many yeah, chances, and oh, so much going on. Who do you? Who do you, I know? Who thinks is okay? Van Dyke got the man of the match, but if you wasn't going to sure. give it to Van Van Dyke, who would you have gave it to? So Luis for Diaz for me was yeah. unbelievable, but I really, really for uh, me my, the position I play, I really enjoyed watching Endo. Oh, really? Me oh. To say you. Uh-huh. He's gonna say that. I really enjoyed watching Endo. I didn't think you were gonna say that. I really, really yeah, enjoyed yeah. watching Endo. He would say he was. Harvey Yell is another player. I okay. think. Okay. Very good. Kelleher as well. Okay. Yes. Kelleher, but, but, but. Kelleher. 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 And I told yeah. Sharky, if you want him, you know what you have to pay. He has 70 mil. <laughs> Give me 70 M's. Nah, 70 Kelleher M's. Kelleher. 70 M's you get him. Kelleher was bro, unbelievable. this guy I saved us so much, bro. Yeah. Nah, he was unbelievable. He was unbelievable. Like, yeah, no, no. I saw some of the saves. And I saw like some crazy stat. Like crazy amount of shots on target. It's unbelievable. Crazy. Bad 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 shots on target. Bad like big chances. There was posts and everything. Chelsea had that game. I, f- I feel like Chelsea should have won that game. Gallagher missed a lot of chances, but a lot, also a lot yeah, of time, the chances yeah. that he missed was a lot of good saves and a lot of like, and unfortunately hit the post. And mistakes from Gallagher. Hitting well. the post is unfortunate. Enzo, Enzo Gallagher had one good chance where it was one on one, but Kelleher made himself big, came out really, really early. Uh, Raheem Sterling had a goal disallowed. Mm. Van Dijk had a goal disallowed, which I want to speak about as well. Was that fair? No, nope. it was no, it was not fair. Nope. Yeah, yeah. He got right. side because Endo was, 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 was Endo, Endo was blocking uh, the, the path of of Coyle, which is just stupid. of Levi Coyle. It weren't really yeah, like of, that though. When you look at the video, the footage, like we was confused. We, was, we confused, was like, what yeah. the hell was going on? And it was taking time. Mm. I said, no, nah, no, nah, it's a goal, man. There was no offside, no nothing. And then the ref. We had to go out of the stadium to look at the TV. Were they showing it? Uh, no, were they showing no, no, the no, no, no. Wait, what do you decision. mean the ref had to come they out? Like show. he left no, the pitch? No, no, we, like, I, oh, I, I to go watch the, the TV. Yeah, okay. We went back in the box yeah, to okay. see what's going on here. Okay, and yeah. I didn't, I couldn't see nothing. It was taking but the t- screens, it was were, a long time. But, but the screens weren't showing it. They just images. say VAR decision. No, no they never do. Yeah, Premier League, they don't do that. It just says VAR check and then it says offside. The new rule they want to do is have the referees have the loud so
like what the referee's doing, but where I sit in the box, there's, there's a, a TV, screen. so yeah, you can actually yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So like, if there's an offside and it's allowed and we start celebrating, the people below us know it's a goal mm, okay. and everyone starts celebrating because okay. the call's like 10 seconds delayed. Yeah, yeah. But like, so like in a normal game, it's, they're trying to change it for next season where yeah. they can actually speak because they should no, do that. Yeah. The communication yeah, yeah, with the fans yeah. is yeah. important. But yeah, yeah that but decision was strange for sure. Yeah, yeah it was strange. Yeah, it was I, didn't strange really, I didn't really get it. Have, they even, have they even come out and said why they no, didn't give no, the goal? No, they, gave, uh, yeah. they gave the reasoning during the, during the, the VAR yeah. uh, decision where they, they said, and they was blocking the path because because Kobo was initially marking mm -hmm. Van Dijk and he was he was going back and the Ender was basically just blocking him and stuff. So, so yeah, really so amazing. I thought it was an offside call mm -hmm. first. I thought it was offside as so well. So I mm -hmm. thought it was because when the Ender might have been offside, but he wasn't interfering with the play. That's yeah, why I no, thought it was wrong it decision. Yeah. But it ended up being because Endo was blocked Cole blocking, like a screen and and Cole and it, uh, had nothing to do with yeah, screen. Yeah, 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 screened him and had nothing to do with the move. But yeah. they they drew out a line, so it's like it's like an if button maybe thing. It was like cool. If Endo didn't block him, Endo would have run, would have been, would have been, been at the yeah. same, would have yeah. landed him at the same point where Van Dyke headed it. Yeah. So how'd you, Cole, yeah. how do you know that's those, there's yeah. everything? So it was one of them ones. And like, that screening that happens in every game. Yep. Uh, it's in, not consistent. In, in corners, in, it's mm. not consistent. But at guess all. what Virgil Van Dyke does? <laughs> so is that not enough for you? Virgil Van Twice. <laughs> you Virgil Van Twice. <laughs> I've never heard that name. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't see. It doesn't see. It doesn't look right. With this. I yeah. listen. I don't care what anyone says. He even. You saw what he said to Liban. <laughs> yeah, he you thought like, yeah. I was finished. You thought I was finished. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, Ibu. Wow. What a monster. What a centre back, yeah. man. He's so good, man. Someone tweeted and it's right. It said, if you're an attacker and you're running and you see Ibu chasing you, it's, it's long. It's scary. It's like scary. I've watched him twice this season, bro, at the Emirates, bro. He's something. He got sent off at the Emirates. Yeah, he did. He's something else. He's something else. It's Kanata, yeah. you know that. He's like, such yeah. a good centre back. Bro. Like I always say it. Like if France end up playing Kanata and Saliba as the two centre backs, they're, they're, they're it's, good. It's long. Man. It's long. They're but good, but they've got the champs, uh, which, yeah. which, which yeah. Oh, yeah, but he won't be there forever. And Kanata and Saliba, that's not next fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. it's mad. But it's literally it's Van Dijk and Kanata. That's too. Mm. That's, that pairing is it's not monstrous. Yeah. It's, it's scary, great, bro. It's, it's pure athleticism. It's like athletic. It's PMP at its finest. And technical PMP as well. And also, how impressive is. Then you write about Connor Bradley. Oh, I like Connor a lot. Such I like a him a lot. Mm. He's very good. Such now. a good player. He's very good. Trent must be, he, Trent must be buzzing that he's got a right back behind him. Remember when he was fighting Ben? ben yeah, yeah, the yeah, guy in front yeah. of us. Oh, Ben Chilwell. Oh, yeah, Ben Chilwell. Yeah, yeah. Go on, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, lad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was sick. I and he's a proper scouser as well. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's a proper scouser. Oh, is he from Liverpool? I'm not sure. I feel like he's a proper scouser for some reason. I feel like all these youths are all like proper scousers. I want. I really wanted that. Um. The uh, Jaden dance to score. Oh, he like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah oh, oh, he's Even just, when he cut in, had a shot. But it's it's mad how many youth like, players. When he on. bought on the youth, play, I was excited. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. Bro, like, one, I was so at, happy. At one point, your midfield was that McConnell guy, Endo, and another. He did really youngster. well, by the way. Yeah. McConnell when he came on. He yeah, yeah, really yeah. Like, he looked very composed. Yeah, like you man had McConnell, another youngster, and Endo. And yeah, you yeah. can yeah. tell as soon as Klopp bought on that fresh legs, how it helped us during extra time. Like I can't lie, dramatically, bro. It's the opposite. I feel I blame. I, I feel like Chelsea should have won that game. I feel I think I think you guys did well to 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 stay on. You guys had the Gakpo header, which 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 hit the post, and you had a chance in the second half as well. But I think Chelsea for sure they, they had, had more chances. chances which oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. they wasted a lot. They wasted, wasted a lot. So Any chances. other day it would have been like a two three 0 because yeah. like one goal goes in, the youngsters' heads go down, Facts. then it's just becomes. It's but then it's and the same. The like we never had, we never had Salah. No, I can't lie. Your injury. We, we never bro, had no Nunez. no Trent, no Salah, no Nunes, no, no Allison, Jota, no Allison. Yeah, no Sabazlai. No, no, uh, no Pochettik, I know he's not a starter. Yeah, everyone was missing. Everyone no, Thiago, yeah. like we had yeah. a lot of- Like a lot of your starters like, were not- Do you know not, what I mean? Even bench missing. players went on there. For the youth players to come in and, and step in, mm. is like hats off to them, bro. Uh, like, shout, out, no, shout out to Keller. Uh, uh, how uh, massive this, this final was for us, especially with Klopp announcing that he's leaving. Mm. And this is like the first trophy you could win for, uh, until the end of the season. Like, you yeah, really need to be there at that final game of the season. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you have to be yeah. there. I'm there as well. Dream, like, yeah, generally, I'm there, you need yeah. to do this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, his last. I'm gonna ever. do it when that I'm at home. You know that. Game, yeah, I'm yeah. doing the. Huh. I'm at yeah. home. I might cry. I'm trying to go as well, man. That, nah. like, that last Anfield game with Club there, it's, it's gonna be special. Well, he's, what's yeah, you're just gonna take. You're gonna take an innocent Liverpool fan's ticket. What are Why are you gonna take that moment away from an actual Liverpool fan? Do you know why? Because uh, no, uh, he thinks I'm going to Madrid after. Uh, Trent was going to come after straight after, man. Oh like, like, God, he, man. He, he sees You're the stalker, by the way. That <laughs> yeah, 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 just yeah, 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 yeah. He's still an article. Yeah, Trent's yeah I'm so happy he finally caught you. Know that. <laughs> uh, you lot thought he went Qatar for that. For that for <laughs> That's why he was away for so long. No, no, no. I knew you were fighting something. He was getting questioned by police. He was fighting a case. Yeah, he
but did you know that Liverpool are now the first team in English football league history to win the league up ten times? Yeah, we were oh, the wow. one. Yeah, yeah. And did you see the opposite style of yeah. Chelsea? First team to lose five domestic finals in a row. In a row, yes. In a row. I think since three, three of them was to us. Two yeah. of them might be to us, I think. Three, yeah, three Embarrassing. Was to us. Billion yeah. dollar, what is it? Billion dollar bottle after, jobs. bro. Like, we had every genre of music. They had oh. reggae. Every little thing <laughs> is gonna be all right. Did you hear, we did had you, everything, uh, bro. Did you hear Bashman? One kiss is all it takes. Yeah, Falling in love song. with me. Oh, we did you hear Bashman? I played it in my head. Okay, because Levi would have came out. Mr. Bibi, big girl everywhere we go. Big girl everywhere we go. Levi would have came out, so I wanted his waist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levi loves it. No, no, it was good, man. Like, so we're in an earshot, but I can't tell you where he lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levi can hear it from his house. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, but yeah, a couple more stats and facts from that game before we move on. Uh, I did say Endo impressed me. Endo, he hasn't lost the game in Liverpool, what a machine, apparently. Bro. Uh, but in Endo's game, my numbers 12 duels won, 12 possessions won, 6 tackles, and he completed 62 out of 68 of his passes. That's a lot, you know. Like, he was very. 16 I, million, bro. When I was watching mm. him, I'm not going to lie, because the first time I've watched him live in a stadium, I always say TV watching football and. In person, explain what kind of player he is. So different, they're so different. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not into that comparing players to other players. No, not, not comparison. Like, I'm saying, yeah. I don't know, like, because I've like, I don't know, I, I admire that position a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, my favorite players, Busquets, growing up, I played in that role, so I always like pay extra attention, attention to that position. He's so tidy with the ball, he makes mm -hmm. the right decision every single almost every single time, makes the right decision. He's so mature with the way he plays because he he's obviously very experienced. Yeah, he's like 30, and yeah. defensively solid because he can play centre back as well. Mm. So he's just very tidy. He doesn't offer much going forward. Yeah, but he's that security that you need mm -hmm. to just allow mm. the Gravenberch or these other players who aren't as disciplined in mm. in defensive positions to give them a little bit more freedom. So when the youth players came on, when these kind of players came on. Endo was just there, just keeping it ticking, yeah. keeping yeah. it ticking, keeping it ticking, making the right pass every time. And I really, really was impressed by him. Genuinely. No, no, he saying. looks like a good replacement for Fabinho. Yeah, like a good stopgap. So, a good player. Stop gap. Yeah. yeah, it's very hard to Endo get. Endo for Liverpool is it's much as from now. Mm. It's better than Declan Rice to Arsenal. No, you lost your mind. I'm being so. No, 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 no. I don't know. It's not. No, it's not even. I'm not. It's not. No, let's not do this. This is not calling Rice. No, I know Rubbish. you know, but this isn't Rice true because is an Rice is unbelievable for us. No, no, it? yeah, he has. But I feel like Endo for Liverpool is better than Rice for us. He's a chill, he's a chill. It's just the truth, chill. man. No, I thought that wasn't needed. Nah, he's still, he's no, still, no, on, he's still on the Liverpool high. He ruined it. Like, you had there, a good little praise I'm them. just yeah, yeah, nah, saying nah, the truth. Nah, like, you've seen Endo, bro. Bro, he just gave flowers. Just because one costs 105 and one costs 16. that's not the reason. That's what we're saying. Bro, he gave he gave good flowers. I spoke about Endo and I literally gave reasons why I think he's he's good. I said he's secure on the ball. You you know all you had to do was all he just said, yeah, I agree, good point. You know what? I can add to it by saying yeah. this. Yeah. That's yeah. no need no, to no. say that. Wallahi. It's, the, it's the truth. That's, though. that's no need to it's say that. Truth. Wallahi. That's no need to say that. But you know what? Had right. Low key had a, a good performance from Chelsea. Who? In my opinion, should have won the man of the match if Chelsea if won. They won. Casado. Casado. Yes. Yeah. So that's another one on the other side. Casado. He was also just was as tidy. That's just you someone you should have compared. Just, just as tidy on the ball. Yeah. For me, Casado was Chelsea's best player, I've, and and for me, he was he, uh, he was he was doing a, a job of two midfielders because Enzo. That game was non-existent. I don't think it was horrible, Enzo. Mm -hmm. I actually, like, he I was, think Enzo was active. There was one chance. That's one thing being active. That's one thing trying to uh, trying to push your team forward. Yeah, especially in the way Liverpool's midfield was set up. There was one chance that first half of Enzo. Where where uh, where Gallagher um, had had a cup where Nico Jackson bro Nico I, I, I'm a chat about Nico Jackson yeah where Gallagher pa uh, uh, passed the ball to Enzo Fernandez pa uh, Palmer, uh, Cole Palmer and, and Sterling was literally a little cut back but he tried oh, to uh, he, 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 he tried to back heel it yeah. Yeah. It was so stupid so st no, no IQ but but Casado in terms of he made a wrong decision wrong decision in a nine minute 120 minute game that happens okay wrong decision is fine I expect a lot more. From a hundred million. Uh, th but the thing is, so because someone, no, so, no, someone's no, no, value no, makes no, them no, 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 it's not about take, take, take away the value from uh, it. What uh, you should uh, say uh, is, uh, you should expect someone. From those are the fine lines that yeah. define how, how great a player is. Enzo, no, the thing is, that's, that's better yeah. because that's lazy. No, 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 no. Enzo, no, no, no. Enzo's <laughs> Enzo's form, in my opinion, is not his fault. Enzo's form for me goes goes to punch. The reason why I mentioned Casado is Casado in that final was doing a, a job of Enzo and himself okay. in terms of defensively and in terms of going forward. My opinion, Chelsea's problems goes down to Poch. Poch. Chelsea was set up perfectly, in my opinion. The chances, they, bro, they can, so if they were set up perfectly, then Poch did a good job setting yeah. up perfectly. But but this is where the pattern of Poch throughout this whole season comes in. Six seventy minute, he makes the wrong in game management. Poch this season is all about in game management. Well, he took off Raheem. You, you took off Raheem, which is fine. And he brought on Kuku, which is what's wrong with that? Nico Jackson going off. 
killed the whole momentum of the game. The wa- uh, 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 now he's laughing. Still right. And, uh, 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 and, yeah. and now he's laughing. Nico, why, why are you laughing? Okay, Nick, go on. Tell us why. Nico Jackson. <laughs> well, I stopped laughing. Oh, go on. Nico Jackson is your main outlet, especially on the, at the moment. Nico Jackson on the left hand side or right hand side is doing a great job. You just killed all of your biggest. He's playing through the middle, though. Huh? He's playing through the middle. No, they rotate every now and then. Yeah, of course, Palmer, yeah, throughout the game, they uh, switch. But and, when, and, and when Nkunku goes up, Nico Jackson plays on the left-hand side. But you take you taking out Nico Jackson, your outlet now on the left-hand side is gone. And you replace him with, and in, a second, in the extra time, you've got Mudrik and Nani, who's both similar. Two wingers with no IQ. And, and, and what, you're trying to win the game? Gallagher, in my opinion, he was, he was well, tied. Tied legs, bringing tied. on uh, Mudrik and Nani Madueke isn't a terrible... Uh, bring on, yeah, you're bringing on pace. You you bring it two on a sim- big pitch. You bring it two similar profiles. <coughs> they're not similar profiles, I don't think. Noni, yeah, no, no, uh, and, and Modric is both no, similar no, profiles. Noni is they're, they're different profiles because Noni's very one footed and Modric can go down both sides. So they're they, very they, they, they're they're both very quick. They're fine. Their decision making their decision making is not the best. Oh shit! No but, IQ. But but in a game like that. I don't blame him for bringing them on. You're bringing on pace against two fullbacks who bump up and down. You're bringing on two pa- two players with pure pace, and now you're stretching the game on a big pitch. I feel like the, those decisions aren't that crazy. Bro, it, 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 it killed them. It killed them because because at least in what Nico Jackson and what Raheem was doing on the defensive side. So in hindsight, you think it was a bad decision, but at, in that moment, do you think it was a bad decision for them two to come on? It was, but, but, but it's been a pattern throughout this whole season. I know, his decision-making and his in-game, in-game management, management has been very bad. It, yeah, it's, yeah. It's been th- Same as... The, the, the um, Arsenal game where they were winning 2-0. Even recently, I can't back. remember what it was. They were winning and then he brought on a defender and they could have lost the game, like all that kind of the, stuff. His yeah. in-game management has been, yeah. has been like that. But with Enzo, the, the, reason, why I said, uh, the, the reason why I said Enzo, yep. with Enzo, my, Enzo's form, I think, I think they hate on Enzo is lazy in my opinion as you said yep. it's lazy they always bring the 100 million. in my opinion it goes down to two things yeah either did you bring, did you bring the 100 million just now huh? yeah, yeah. No, you no, just no, bring no, no 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 <laughs> no the reason yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> the reason why no 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 the reason no, no, no. he just brought the 100 million it's lazy it's lazy in a lot of ways the reason why <laughs> I brought it, it you brought him in a, in, a, in a final you need to step up in a final especially alongside your other your other your other uh, colleague who is doing a much better job and Casado throughout this whole season in my opinion is having a very underrated season a lot of people they like to criticize him he made the wrong move in fact for, for me this whole season he's, he's low key having a great season Enzo on the other hand is two things either Poch needs to go because he's not the manager for him or this formation of playing a double pivot role of Quesado and Enzo doesn't suit Enzo. It uh, doesn't suit Enzo. Mm. The, the, this this four two three one it needs to change. Mm. If Poch wants to be, remains the manager, or Poch, you need to go, bro. I think Poch is out at the end of the season. Yeah, 100%. he has to be out regardless. I think they're gonna look at managers like Nagelsmann and uh, and Amorin, Amorin from Sporting. As Amorin, well. they, I think they will even try a, a, a shot at Xabi Alonso. Like, Chavez is good at Liverpool. He won't damage. No, you never know. But they still, they have so much money, they could just throw a shot at him and he could just be like, oh, maybe. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Like, things can change. You never know. Like, if they offer him a good project, he can mm. go. Mm. And I mean, after after 388 games in charge of Southampton, Tottenham and Chelsea, Mauricio Pochettino is still waiting for his first trophy in English yeah, football. That's crazy, you know. <laughs> P- hey, PSG manager, and tough you can't man. win a trophy yet. Tough out here, man. Guys f- Wait, did he win a trophy at PSG? He did. He oh, did. No. One, oh, one, oh. One, I thought it was he did. He did. He did. Yeah. No, I was gonna say. I thought you put all of them together. Bro, he like, made. Damn. Bro, he he made people think Messi was washed, and Messi then won the World Cup the year after in the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> guys, guys. Yep. All right. Let's let's move on. That game ended nil nil uh, in in yeah. that ninety minutes until the hundred eighteenth minute nice when Van Dijk scored a winning yeah. goal from a Simicast uh, corner, a substitution made by Klopp. He's doing his job. End. No, someone who didn't. Someone who clearly made good substitutions. Go on. No, no, I'm saying Shark is sick. Yeah, yeah. I was going to speak about it and he carried on and it was just amazing. Yeah. Um, you two are going to be biased about this. Okay. So I would love to hear Faisal's honest opinion. Um, legacy wise, if Liverpool in the Premier League, does Klopp have a better legacy than Wenger? Oh, I saw, oh, I saw that tweet. Sorry, on SDS. I, I, I saw that tweet by SDS, but I see a tweet there. So. No, no, I know, but that's a, that's a very <laughs> good was question. You or another Afghan. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do uh, you reckon? If if what if, if Liverpool win the Premier League this season, no, has he got a better? Why would you? Why a better you what legacy? I just a wanted to know because legacy, I know these are. Be- we'll say well, a better what legacy? Managerial legacy for the club. A, be- a better managerial legacy yeah, for the club. No. Yeah, no. Um, why is no, that? Why would you say that? Because Arsenal no, no. You're gonna say yeah. You're gonna talk. I just want to hear Faisal. No, 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 no. Because because Arsenal Wenger, what you think Klopp has done for Arsenal uh, for for Liverpool in terms of the dynasty, bringing up with all the all the dead players, Arsenal Wenger did it. But is it really a dynasty though? 
Like, yeah, I hear dynasty. Is, is, is it really a dynasty? What drops Liverpool's? It's a dynasty. Yeah, it's it's a dynasty. Is it? What's a dynasty? Winning three, four trophies on the on the bounce, right? If we're going dynasty definition, dynasty but, but, definition but, but, okay, for me okay, is okay, okay, winning three, four but, trophies. Yeah, but, but put it into context, Zach. But, but, but Why? Put it, I'm putting it into context. But, but, no, no, no. You put it. In, you, 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 you're facing up against Pep City, who. Then it's not a dynasty. Pep City's a dynasty. Pep City. You can't have two dynasties in the same league, you know. Oh, you can't oh, have two no, dynasties no, no. in the Klopp's same Liverpool league. Be you can't, you can't have two dynasties. You've won every single How? trophy there is to win. Won but that's not a dynasty, bro. Okay, that's no. not okay. a dynasty. Oh, define, define dynasty. A dynasty is winning multiple trophies, like dominating the league for uh-huh. multiple years in any sport, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, any sport is winning the league titles or whatever trophies mm-hmm. are available multiple years in a row. Mm-hmm. What City have done? How many trophies? How many Premier Leagues have City won? They've won like six or five, uh, uh, four of the last six or four uh, of the last five, four, something like that. Uh, in sports, in sports, yeah, a dynasty denotes a team. Nice. In sports, <laughs> a dynasty denotes a team or an individual mm-hmm. that dominated their sport or league for an extended period. And is that what Liverpool done? A hundred percent. We might not win the leagues, but we definitely dominate. They definitely do- they, 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 so mean, you're saying, so you're saying, all you have to do is dominate, because that means Arsenal are about to become dynasty. We dominated the league last year. We no, dominated no, league no, this no, year. No, 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 no. Give us right. next season and we're going to become a dynasty, bro. The way you're saying that's, it. The that's way you're saying it. You just said, I'm going off of what he said. Yeah, but he said we haven't won any trophies, okay, okay. but we're a dynasty, bro. For me, a di- honestly, and I think for a lot of people, a dynasty is if you've dominated the league for multiple years, whatever trophies in Champions Leagues, Premier Leagues, FA Cups, League Cups, if you've dominated those trophies for multiple years and you've been the top dog in all those, you are a dynasty. You can't have two dynasties, two dynasty teams in one league. Impossible. No, it'll be Impossible. Asked, but you can't have. Imagine um, you lot won. How many uh, Champions Leagues did you win in a row? Three P. Three P. If Atletico got to the final three times in a row, they are dynasty with you. No. Exactly, bro. It's the we, same we, with the Premier League. No. You finish first four. You finish five times. Man City finished, I think it's four out of five times. Four and Liverpool, five. Yeah, and Liverpool five. finished twice, four times, and first one time. Are they a dynasty? Don't say they're no. They're not, bro. Because they didn't. Know. They lost. They came second four out of five times. So you can't have two dynasties in the same league. And That's my opinion. Second all the time, they came exactly. But I'm twice. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt of finish the second. Who's in court? Who's who bro? Going ha, court and right I'm now. sure there was one, no, no, one no. season where they finished outside the top six. Yeah, last was, season. Yeah, and there's uh, come on, that's not a dynasty, bro. No, outside the top four. Last, last season was yeah. a bad season. Dynasties are are teams that have won multiple leagues in a row so you are, or multiple leagues in a certain okay, amount of time. Okay, what would you call club seven seven years tenure at Liverpool? What, what you would know, you I saw something in his phenomenal in his seven years. I think I saw Chelsea have won more trophies than him in those seven years. I think I nah, saw that. Surely not. What? I what? think I saw that. We can double check to it. To be fair, it's here in 2015. I think we could double check. Chelsea it. have won a Champions League. Chelsea have won, to won a Champions won, League. Uh, uh, have they won a Premier League in that time? Maybe one. Yeah, the, maybe one Pep's first season, I think Chelsea. I can't remember, but I saw something along those lines where Chelsea have yeah. matched Liverpool Pep's, or have done yeah. better than they Liverpool. They won one. Conte, 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 the Conte, Conte, yeah. They yeah. Won. They've won. The they've Champions, matched. My, my ex-manager, by the way. Yeah, your ex-manager. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The so, ma- like, how's, how's that a dynasty? If, yeah. like, Chelsea, who are washed now... Super Cup, Club in, Cup. Ha- and have been washed for two years, have matched Klopp's Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? Cup? You need Bro, to see how... It's not It's not Klopp's fault that Pep was in the Premier League at the same time as him. won If Pep wasn't there... Chelsea. No, no, Chelsea, Chelsea. Because Liverpool won every single trophy and add Carabao twice which is Chelsea which is, won similar you're right which is one six, similar seven, Chelsea won Prem Champions which League which is eight eight trophies Cup, World Club World Cup Super Cup Europa League um, and the Europa League nah but not one, 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 one. it's been after 2015 they won the Europa League Emery won yeah Emery won the Europa League yeah Giroud has yeah, bro. I saw it the other day yeah. and I was like whoa Ooh, Ooh, and the Super Cup as well Super Cup, Cup World Cup yeah do you know what I'm saying? Like, how can they but, be a but dynasty if there's teams that are doing finals. as good or better than them? <laughs> come, hey, on, hey, hey, come, hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. But they have no, different no, managers, no, different no, managers. No, different no, managers. No, it's different. But it's my different, po- I think my, my point stands, and I think obviously the people can uh, reply the in the comments and they can pick and choose if they think I'm right in the dynasty. Based, no, no, based okay, from your the, definition, what? based from your definition, yeah. I agree with you. In yeah. terms yeah. of- Did Arsenal have a dynasty? Did Wenger have a dynasty then? That's dynasty. No, because Alex Ferguson was there. That's what I'm saying. By your definition, yeah, yeah bro. I'm saying you can't from have 98. You can't have two dynasties think, in the same league. From 98 but, but Wenger had through to 2006. Wenger had three. No, but um, Man, Man United done the not the three peat. They won it three yeah. times in a row. Yeah. Wow, Wenger. But was Wenger there. had three premiers. Yeah, but Wenger broke he it up. Wenger he broke, broke it up. up. He broke it up. But there was, yeah. but I think there was a point while Wenger was there. Man United won it like year after year after year. Of course, of course. But Wenger was Arsenal for 20 years. But his same with Alex Ferguson. Such a long span. But there was a point in time where. Arsenal and Man United were the two top, top dogs. But there was a point in time where one one of the two won more Premier Leagues and more, more trophies than the other one. 
Who's the dynasty? Yeah, yeah, but it was like between ninety eight yeah. through to two thousand and four. Yeah, it was. That's what six Arsenal, years. Arsenal United. Eight years. Arsenal two, United. Four, Arsenal yes. United. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, it was ninety eight Arsenal. Ninety nine United. Okay, <laughs> ninety eight Arsenal. Ninety nine United. Two thousand United. And then uh, no, two thousand one United. One three in a row. So 98 Arsenal. Yeah, and, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 99 United. And the 2000 2000 2000 United. 2001 United. 2002, 2002 Arsenal. 2003 United. And 2004 what, Arsenal. And what year was the trouble? The uh, Solskjaer trouble? Was it 98? Uh, 99. No, no, In that no, time no, they done that yes, crazy no, trouble. Telling no, me I'm wrong. No, 2004 was Chelsea, bro. 2004 was oh, Arsenal. No, 2005 yeah. was Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad, but it's like 98 we won double. 2002 won a double. 2004 won Invincibles. 2005 won FA Cup. 2006 won the Champions League final. Mm. And that's when everything went wrong. Because we lost the Champions League final, which we should have won, and then things were different. But so, so no. we talk about Carabao Cup. We moved, we've, we've yeah, strayed away my, too far, but we've got to move on. What I think a dynasty is is nowhere near what Liverpool are. You've the had reason, Man, no, that's a, that's Man not, City I have asked this question because, because, because I disagree. Move on 10 minutes ago. No, no. Man's Pep has made the Premier League. People are comparing the Premier League to Bundesliga, bro. Like, is, that's what Pep is, has done. It is, it is. I can't lie. Pep, that's what Pep has done, bro. You've won one Premier League, bro. Ever. One Premier League, bro. They're in court. They're going through court. G. They did everything. They didn't do it the right way. No, no. They didn't do it the right. Right way. Okay, they didn't do it the right. Up until now, they've done it the right way. They haven't been found guilty. We don't, only, no, up until no, now, they've done it the right way. When they get found guilty, then what? They didn't do it the right way. Right way. Fam, you have, from last year. You have you to do it the right way. <laughs> you're okay. You have to do it the right way. Are you man talking about Will Ward or Money? Okay, let's talk about. Are you talking about Perez or Salah? What are you talking about? Let's talk about the right way. What about what about all the fake asthma players on your team? That's not fake asthma. Come on, man. They look like asthma. Wait, wait, wait. Bring the doctors. Bring the banning. Based from your definition, yeah, it's true. You're, mm-hmm. you're, you're right. Like when that. I said it to you, you went, you went faithful. Uh, I, I, yeah. uh, but however, then you lot did the Man United my house okay. comparison. Okay. You went, uh, but however, however, I feel like I'm right in this situation. No, no, well, I based on that, you're yeah. right. But he cooked for no reason, what, G. Look, no one's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> looking at what Liverpool did, uh, final and, statement, and Klopp and the way Klopp came, yeah. With at building from absolute nothing in terms of the players, Van Dijk, the Sadios, I, the, the Salas, the Allison, I, 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 I agree. that is no, building dynasty. a dynasty. I, I mean, build a dynasty. I, I, agree. I agree. He, he agree. built a dynasty. He built, he built a football no club. One he built a football club. No, no one expected, bro. No, 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 no. He, he, no one expected. The, one of the people. most dangerous football clubs. In he did. He did. One of the most dangerous. And, and at one point, yeah. and at one point, they were the best team in the world. In the world. No one expected Liverpool to win the Champions, the Premier League with with the era of C. He built. He built it by himself. I'm not disagreeing with you. Brick by brick. If it was done by someone else. Then it's, right. it's not dynasty. Rick he did it. He did it by himself. All right, same. Yeah, he did it same. by himself. All the yeah. players he brought in. I built this shit. Me, <laughs> brick by brick, and I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way I nothing the top. Yeah, you see. I felt like I was watching it. Yeah, yeah, like, like, I like, practiced that line. That's, that's good. Like that's Let's why it's a dynasty. On. Let's move it's on. It's a dynasty. I'll let, we're we're going to let the comments. comments. Yeah, yeah, we're going to let, let the comments. let the people them describe. Yeah, um, yeah I'll let them it. discuss yeah, and, and everything. Discuss. We've got to move on to the Premier League now. Uh, and we're going to start off at Old Trafford. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no United fans on the table today. So I wanted to hear some abs soliloquies. Some abs. Hey, man. I mean... I, I give up with this team a long time ago. Yeah. And, and then and some Liban saying, ride the storm. Yeah, and then Liban riding, riding the wheels uh, fall off. <laughs> Liban riding a storm somewhere. Um, but He's riding it somewhere at Wembley. Lost at home to Fulham. <laughs> yeah. He's riding state. something else. Calvin Bassey made it 1-0. Maguire, they thought they equalised and saved the point uh, with Maguire's equalised in the 89th minute only for Alex Iwobi <laughs> to the baby. dagger in Love the 97th it. minute. Iwobi. United, United were in great form before this. Can't lie, United. Great, made, like, unbelievable. Five, wins. Yeah. five wins. Five wins. On the trot. Five straight wins on the trot uh, in all competitions. Six out of seven <laughs> wins. And that seventh one was a draw with, United, with, with Spurs. So they were undefeated in seven games in all competitions, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So they were on a great form. I'm not going to lie, they were on a great, great run. Is this just a one little blip? But the thing is, they've lost so many games at home now. Yeah, like they've, I think they've lost six. Brighton, is it sixteen games in all comps they've lost? They've lost against Brighton. Something like that. They've lost against Brighton, against City. Uh, against City. No, 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 the lower teams. Oh, the small teams. Bournemouth at home, 3 now. Yeah, the small teams. Home. And of course, now... Uh, Brentford are lost to, I think. Brent- Brentford? Wait, wait yeah. was Brentford at yeah. home? Yeah. At home, I yeah. Yeah. Bro, Fulham popped them. Be. Fulham popped yeah. them. They popped them. I watched it. They, Bro, they, they, the they, sequences of play. Like, do you know what annoys me about Ten Hag? Talks about when he was at Ajax, I had these players and he comes to United and I don't have the right players. And then you have these small teams like Bournemouth, Fulham. I don't think Brentford really played good football. But these smaller teams that have come to Old Trafford Dominate. and they just come here, sequences of play, mm-hmm. evade the midfield, yep. use the wingers, mm. 
Uh, you got no Palinia who's suspended, so they bring in Lukic, who's a completely different player to him, and they're still nice. popping it. They've got Harrison Reed, who's popping it around them. You've got Iwobi, who everyone, a lot of people say his uh, decision making is questionable. He had an okay game. He's still got around them. They've got this new striker called Muniz. I don't even know who the hell was that brother is. He's yeah, good yeah. for them. He's been a good replacement for Mitrovic. He's on fire right now. Like different striker, but he's still strong yeah. and like yeah, he's yeah, getting yeah. in the right positions. Mm. And then you got Ten Hag just there scratching his bald head on the sideline, <laughs> and they're losing like. And you, it's like, uh, bro, I just, you know, watching United, yeah, as much as I hate their downfall, as much as I love their downfall, sorry, I hate watching them play. They're so, no, they're coaching. so boring, bro. That's not coaching. Mm. They're so boring. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and it kills me. It makes me die because they've got a 90 million pound winger that Ten Hag was dying for sitting on the bench. I don't know if he was on the bench and they started that forcing guy. No, 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 no. Uh, they brought him on. They brought him on the last. Hey, Anthony. Uh, last 30 seconds of the game. Can't remember. They brought him on. The last 30 seconds. And what's he doing with Ahmad Diallo as well? Get that guy out there, man. Bring him to the carpet. Let him enjoy himself at the Emirates, Bro, man. Yeah. What the hell? Like, they've got a good winger on the bench winger, and they're starting an ex-Essie uh, uh, Dons player. Like, what's going on, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. Amari you used to play Essie Dons. Like, uh, bro, no, I yeah. rate it for doing I that. But that how you got um, Ahmad Diallo and 90 million pound winger it's and you're mad, playing someone mad. that used to play for Essie Dons? It's Come it's on, insane, man. It? Like, it's crazy, bro. It's like, what's happening at Man United? It's great. You've got Casemiro who's ass, bro. He's horrible now. Like he generally looks like he should be working yeah, a hotel yeah. desk, he should be working a kebab shop, he should be doing all these different jobs, yeah, but not a footballer. Not football. Like it's so I, weird. I, I and then, like and that. then, they, and what what else annoyed me that game was they're getting killed in midfield. So he yeah, says, I you know just, what? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna take off Casemiro. I'm gonna put on someone who has never defended in his life, yeah. Christian Eriksen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy could barely run. It's dumb. It's dumb. He takes they're a corner and see him. He's like this. They made a double change. They brought on yeah, McTominay and and, and, and you should, you're better off having McTominay with Casemiro because McTominay can run. Yeah. And you've got Casemiro who's actually he's smart enough to stay in the right position, even though he's a bit oh, dopey. Bro, yeah. He's smart enough to say Ericsson is just technically good. Bro, he's right. You know, you know, Ten Hag he lacks simple coaching. Or like, you're right. Yeah, very he simple. Lacks simple yeah, coaching. Bro. And the it's thing it's is, the thing is with, the, with United, yeah, the high press is fine. You man have been doing it. Perfectly in the past couple couple of games, mm. see has been doing. Liverpool's been doing on the on the club. The Dynasty on the club. Yeah. High, <laughs> <laughs> high high press. They do high press, but you know how when you do high press, that's just fifty percent of the press. The other fifty percent comes with the high press from the from the defender yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Then well. man play a high press low block. So yeah, that makes so a massive bro. gap in the yeah, So it, it makes me it's laugh so, so much. Bro. So the space, the, the space between the defending and the midfield, bro. The first half, you should, you it, it, it makes me laugh so much. One bro. little ball over the top. But they've been doing that from the first, the first game, game of the yeah. season. The first game. No, the when first game. Cunha, yeah, Mateus Cunha. Saw and that them. and was enjoying the midfield. Bro, the they've been doing it since Ten Hag's <laughs> first game. He's managed at Man United. And this Forget is that. why the Brentford game, everything, bro. He's and such a like. This is this is why when I said it's too like literally, too it's too, I, I, it doesn't like think. It doesn't mean I'm not talking about a pit. He cannot control that club. You know, he, you didn't think about tomorrow yesterday. You thought about six months later. I, I clocked it. All he does is, is in the touchline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why did he become sassy? Why did, uh, that's what he does. Have you not seen? That's how it moves. That's I didn't how it sassy. <laughs> that's what I thought he, he was bold. Yeah. He is not a manager. Like, what he done to how he treated CR7, how he treated yeah. Sancho, this is not managing, bro. Yeah, so crazy. they need a new guy. Like, yeah. even if you take him out now and who do you bring? You're questionable. But who even wants to touch that club? Let's be real. No, nah, no, nah, they're, they're going the right direction. No, I'm kind of scared. They're I'm kind of scared. No, no, no. You think they're going the right direction? They came out and they said they're getting rid of so many like- 10 players, 11 players. They're getting rid of like 10 players. They said they're getting rid of like 15 members of like the board and like in the club. They change it. Let's wait and see. It's going to take them a couple years, obviously, but let's wait and see. But this is good to see, to be fair. It doesn't annoy me. I don't feel like I hate watching them. I love it. No, no, I love no. watching them. I love watching them move. No, I love their downfall. Yeah, but yeah. I love this. When I watch, because I hate yeah. watching United, yeah. But when I'm hate watching, I want something. Like, I want a b- nice football. Yeah, I want yeah. sequences. I want something like. You're not getting that. You're not getting that. Like I understand the injuries playing Lindelof at left back. That's not ideal. You've got no left back. I understand. I understand those things. But when it comes to high press but low block or Bruno Fernandes shooting for no reason oh, from forty yard and like when he sprays the ball for no reason, I watch him and I'm like. Bro, like you're a good footballer. You don't have to make some of these decisions. And and that's no off the ball movement from them, man. Yeah. Like, when they have the ball, no one is running. No one is no one is dropping deep to collect that's, it. Yeah. There was one. There was one passage that I think in the second half of first half mm-hmm. where Varane had the ball. Mm-hmm. You would expect a midfielder to drop deep to collect it mm-hmm. as normally. Yeah? yeah. Rice has been doing it. Jorginho has been doing it. Bro, Bruno as a as a, as a ten mm-hmm. striker. Cobra Mayno is on the left hand side. There was no one dropping deep to collect the pass. Mm-hmm. And that's why I said with Ten Hag, bro, it's simple coaching, bro. Yep. It's, well, I have simple coaching. I think Maguire, as much credit and flower he's been getting, he's not built for this fake. I don't know what system my man's doing. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't play a high block with Maguire. Mm-hmm. The guy's slow. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And his, def- his all defenders are slow. His midfielder's got no legs. So why are you play- why are you pressing high and having a low block? At least either do high high or low low. At least don't press. Just let them dictate. At least your midfielders are still dropping deep. Mm-hmm. Got- and the, and the, and, the, and the subs, Ericsson. Ericsson and and what and Scott McTominay and expecting expecting yeah. you to now c- control the midfield with Ericsson and Scott McTominay. Even a goal was very poor to see. Like Which you've got Adama Traore, the, the winner. You've got Adama Traore who's got nine hundred ninety nine pace. Yeah. yeah, you've got him running at Maguire and he just flicks around him. So see you later. Maguire in that position, I swear to God, should just grab the shirt. Should just pulled his arm. Yeah, maybe he had baby oil on and he yeah, got yeah, past yeah. him. Well, well, yeah, but it's it's it was a elite composure. Foul, like he just, he just he just he just smart finish just, though. Yeah. Yeah. It made, smart, no, smart the, the finish, run from Adama was amazing, finish. bro. The he's run, the pass, move. and the goal. You can see the clip when it's coming on, and Garnacho looks like he's like. He's like, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Yeah, he does that. It's like, come on. Like, yeah, yeah, like, come on, man. And yeah. like Adama's coming yeah, on. Adama's coming on. Like, bro, he came on, and the pass, and then obviously he said, I'm, I was shocked that I expect Diallo to get sent, but Dalot to get sent as well. Like, they both fell for the left. They both And it was like, you can see he's cutting in, but the finish was elite. It was Mbappe, Hazard kind of finish, near post, low. Like Onana can't do anything. And about Luke, that. Sh- rely on Luke Shaw. Oh God. No, no, no. no you, was, you cooked with that. I can't lie. Well done. Hey, I'll shake it. Reliability is the best. Drake songs. Well, I, well, I. Yeah. Well, I Drake songs. No, no, no. My problem with Luke Shaw is fine. You learning out regular, and there was another. No, they didn't loan him out. They like. Tottenham just said, they, yeah, yeah, they got they, him on loan. Yeah. They, they got, loan they him got him on loan, and then he, I don't think oh, he, yeah, matched, yeah, got him alone, but I don't but think he played it. the games that he was meant to play contractually, so they got took him back. Man, just, uh, and, and, and no, the they Rose got rid of the Fernandez guy, which was weird. Fernandez, yeah, 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 it was him. It was yeah. him. Yeah. Fernandez game. <laughs> and, like, and you know, when Luke Shaw in, is is gonna get injured <laughs> yeah. and not having a left back, bro. At least go to the youth team and look for a left back. There must be someone in from under 18 to under 12 who's and also have Brandon Williams who they've loaned out. Remember, but he was never a left back. He was right footed. He was right footed. He's a left back. Yeah, they sold him. They sold him. They sold him. Like, yeah, you could have had him put Dalot left back and have it, and just even play Lindelof right back. I'm so confused. Like, play Dalot left. He's back. a right foot. Like, he's a right centre back. And yeah, he's it's back. very weird. Like, you I mean, they played with Masaka left back a couple of weeks ago. Both. Yeah, like just you have go from the under twenty one to left back and put Masaka. Go to the under twenty ones to the under sixteens and find left back, man. Like, I know it's difficult playing that step up, but it's like you'd rather an actual left back play than a right centre back and left back. But it's a concern though. It's a concern that for his. For this system that he's trying to do, mm. it's a concern that every player is getting injured now. Yeah, because 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 he's, he's 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 they're dying on that pitch, bro. And yeah. that because that's no that's no midfield, and everyone's tracking back. Hoyland now muscle injuries, sure muscle injuries. Casemiro had it, Varane had it. Yeah, when Maguire do you ever see, when do you ever see like white strikers get muscle injuries? Like PMPs, muscle injuries. Never get that system is. And I, 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 I don't even know what system he, he's got. Well, like. no one knows. Yeah, no, generally no, no one knows. I mean, we don't have the luxury of having the United fans knows. on the podcast. Even they I, don't know. It. I decided. Well, like, even they don't know it. I decided to try and go through their Twitter to see what they said. Uh, <laughs> Leah fighting, said. Fighting each Leah other. said, <laughs> generally gonna laugh if the rest of the if the rest of the Premier League allows this my United side to make the top four. Honestly, bewildering how we're even in any sort of clo- any sort of close proximity to it. All for football inside. Uh, Culture Camps, who obviously is a friend of the show, tweeted a screenshot of Sky Sports I of like that, yeah. uh, most and fewest Premier League games season, 16 plus shots faced. United have faced 16 plus shots in 14 different games this season. And how many games have been played this season? <laughs> like what, tw- just over just over 20. Crazy. And Elias, Elias quote tweeted that tweet saying, the eye test says it, the stats show it. Man United are one of the worst coach teams in the league in all three phases which of the pitch. Yeah, which we've been just saying. Uh, Abs also said, you can't take the DNA out of Man United away. One of the scariest counterpunch teams ever. I understand that. At the same time, it's in United's DNA to play the best, most competitive football in the country. Those two things must be present for United manager. United shouldn't be vulnerable to small teams. Call it arrogant. Call it what you want. It's just the history of United. We must be playing the best version of football regardless of how the game has changed. That's the burden any United manager must carry. And Aliba said, by the storm. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. So, that, you can see the level of difference. <laughs> like you got long, 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 and then just ride the storm. <laughs> that's the level of analysis we have. Yeah, that's the level of analysis. analysis. <laughs> you know, that's the level I we have. I love Liban's analysis. Uh, yeah, just ride the storm, like. But like, like, player, yeah? And also another interesting stat, obviously I don't want to keep bringing Arsenal into this because we got Arsenal after, but Arsenal have scored 18 goals in February alone, which we're going to yeah. speak about. And that's half of United's uh, goal tally this whole season. So. I can't wait to talk about Arsenal. Huh? I, I think... Yeah. We scored half of United's all season. They've only scored fakes in just, one month. In yeah. just February. Um, Ten Hag's yeah. Ten Hag's another manager. I think won't be there in the summer. Nah, he won't be there. I think once all this new won't. ownership and that like comes, pretty like close with. The it looks like it, but then I always hear these things of like he wants total control, and then Ineos don't want to give him total control. Yeah. And like I said, there's like managers available. I'll right be now. scared to touch that club unless I'm a manager with. Um, like a new manager, like you, yeah, you like, 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 no, no, control. to prove you, to prove yourself, <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. or, or, yeah, or like 
oh my god, I can't believe I got this role. Let me get, yeah. let me take it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. Otherwise, I'll but be we haven't shook, really bro. spoke about Fulham too much. Obviously, they won. Um, uh, but obviously, United with the United thing with Ten Hag. Mm. We'll speak of Fulham in a second with Ten Hag thing. If Abs was here, he'll tell us that he does not really sure he'll lose his job because he's close with. John Murta and Richard Arnold. Yeah, he knows all the sirs <laughs> in the club. There's been sirs that came yeah. in and he's like, yeah, I know Sir David and yeah. Sir Jim yeah. and Sir so-and-so. Abs How do you know these brothers? Abs knows everyone. He's all talking about, he's all tweeting about the Newcastle guy who's about to yeah, take yeah. his own garden. Yeah. 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 Who the hell cares? All that Aswell. That, that, yeah. uh, what's his name? Uh, Aswell. 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 Fun that guy, yeah. man. Yeah. Why do you care about these brothers? <laughs> like, Abs, was that make the club tick? He's talking about, yeah, this guy doesn't associate this guy's name and like, what's he talking about, man? No, I, feel, uh, I feel like they're, they're trying to get everyone the ex-City staff members. Yeah, that's they got Asworth. a city already, the other guy. Ashworth, they, they got that one. Ashworth. Ashworth, Ashworth. Bro, he, he says big words, you're just making big words up now. <laughs> yeah, Ashworth, yeah. 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 He's a former city man. Oh, you know what? It, it can't, it, can't show about Bruno, will I? Quickly go. Yeah. Bruno? Well, like, let's, let's have it, let's have, you one, know what? Yeah, let's have it uncomfortable. You know you and Bruno kind of look alike? Huh? Hey, chill out on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's Faisal, Bruno and Ryan. Let's have, let's have Faisal Fernandez. Chill out, chill out. Or Bruno Hassan. Let's have a conversation about Bruno, yeah? Bruno? <laughs> it's not winning football. Well, he can have. I saw a stat today. He's, he's got the most key passes. He's got the most chances created. Bruno can have as many. He's stats a stat as he wants. man. As you know what he is. Mm. He is the Russell Westbrook of football. Not winning football. Mm. Russ is not winning basketball. He'll get his triple doubles. Russ will get his triple doubles. Yeah. MVPs, MVPs, individual awards. When it comes to winning trophies, it's different. Russ hasn't got a ring. Bruno is that person. Bruno's not going to get a ring. He's not going to get a trade bro. If you are putting Bruno <laughs> as your Batman, you're not winning. Bruno's not a Batman. He's not a Robin. He's not a third choice. He's not a fourth choice. Mm. Uh, Bruno's somebody who can have a piece amongst the team. But mm. if you're relying on Bruno to win you, to win you, he can win you games. He can win you. A war. What was that saying? He, he can win you a war. But the battle. So no, he can win you a battle. You was cooking and then you went there. Like, 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 you was cooking, man. He can win you a war, but can't win you a battle. I was cooking. I was cooking. I was cooking. I was cooking. I'm done with this. Let's move on. Rewind the Rewind the Rewind Let's hear from Thomas, the Fulham fan. Rewind it, man. But yeah, Thomas says, Thomas obviously is a Fulham fan. We didn't really speak too much about Fulham. I am so sorry, Thomas. But Thomas says, hope you're all having a good time in Qatar. We did, Thomas. Fulham fan summary if a pod is happening. One of the best performances I've seen from Fulham this year alongside the Arsenal match. Yeah, that was painful. We drew 2 2 in that game at the Emirates. Absolutely deserved, as we were definitely the better side. Thought it was a typical big six game when Maguire scored after he should have been nowhere near the pitch after a terrible challenge. Mm -hmm. There needs to be a serious discussion on discussion how the big six clubs or big clubs are refereed versus the rest of the league, which I know may fall on deaf, deaf ears, but I feel obligated to say. Luckily, we got what we deserved in Adama and it will be cemented a place as cult heroes. What a day. And they have cemented a place as cult heroes because it's the first time Fulham have beat United in any competition since December 2009 when Faisal first came to the country. How's <laughs> <laughs> a good on you now? <laughs> also, Alex Iwobi is the first Fulham player to score a winning goal at Old Trafford since Steed Marbronk oh, legend. in October 2003 you when used to Alex number five. was born. Didn't you wear you... <laughs> Then he used to end number five as well. I think he did, yeah. Steve Marbronk. Yeah. Oh, what, right. other what other Premier League team did Steve Marbronk play for? Who? Steve Marbronk. What other Premier yeah, League team? Test. What other Premier League team did Steve Marbronk play for? Steve, Steve who? Steed. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steed Marbronk. What other Premier League team has he played for? Steve Marbronk. Steed. Steed. Marbronk. Steed. French, yeah. Frenchman, legend. And he jumped on his chest. And he said Ana another, another Premier League heritage player. Yeah. Yeah. Streets will never forget. Yeah, well, uh, they, uh, on the streets. And, I, and, I, I okay, forgot okay. that player. And they were, and they were the same colour kit as Fulham. Yeah. I, well, I and they were from uh, the same, they're from the same, same part city. of, yeah, same city. Fulham. Uh, who's white, who's where's white in, in, in London? Uh, not Palace. Uh, Fulham. Uh, Whiskey in this Palace. Guy. This guy's, oh not my God. this guy's not a footballer, man. Every clue. This guy's not a footballer, man. There's only two teams that wear white. Go, go on, tell, tell him who you has to play for. Well, not first. Who does, who does third sport? I suppose. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, well, like, no, no, no. Well, I Steve Marbron, it was legend. A white team come. in London. Yeah, I was confused. No, no, no. That's why I said Palace. No, no, no. Well, like, I said Red no, and blue. I said, I said not Palace. Who else? No, no you palace. said Palace. Faze, why? Well, you just said it. <laughs> you're on you the can't board. edit it. You're on camera. The mic. Yeah, but this is not your channel. This is not your channel. Yeah. <laughs> Cut it out. Show, show me. Show me. I said, I said no. It's not Palace. And, and then, then, then it went Palace. No, yeah. and then, and, then, and then, wait, wait. No, and then you man looked at me. I was like, well, what Palace? Find out about man. It's not. It's like, what? It's cool. I'm on the streets. I forgot my man. You're not a Premier League. 
Yeah, but you're not a Premier yeah, League savant. Sure. Yeah. I will get a league question. Yeah. yeah. So just say no, that. No, no, no. That's what I said. I'm the streets. I forgot that player. Well, no, just don't issue. forget. It's, it's another horrible I, quote. I've forgotten that player. So he tried to do, he tried do a quote. He tried, <laughs> do a quote. <laughs> so, <laughs> tried to do a quote and it fell. So you're not the streets because streets never forget him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not the streets. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Come on, man. His face is at first episode back, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him off. Yeah. Uh, next game, let's move <laughs> over to uh, Emirates. <laughs> And let's My favorite part ever. Arsenal, what a month we have in wow, February. Man. Of course, the only black mark on our wow. month was the Porto game. Wow. Um, but <laughs> that was Porto, heartbreaking. That was actually second, heartbreaking. Yeah. We have a second leg. How we so have some footage. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, waiting yeah. to release. Don't uh, worry. I see, put it there. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're not lose. You oh, have no, to no, pull no. it out regardless. We oh, that, oh, that footage that he took. Yeah, yeah. We watched the game in Qatar. But we're not talking about that game. Okay. Arsenal this month. Started a month three one win over Liverpool. I think that's that cement that started against off who, Whose team against who? Against Liverpool. Phil are was you, there. Did you came oh, with, with me? I brought with me. Where are we? Where are we, where are we did right you now? Enjoy that game. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, but we're yeah. still we went the away to West Ham six 0 win. Oh. Away to Burnley five 0 win. Oh. And now four one win against Newcastle. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa! You forgot. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What? You forgot there was a result between. I just mentioned it. We just mentioned it, bro. We're talking about Premier League. Premier League roundup. I know you mentioned it, but fit it in. Fit it in. I'm back to Prem now. That's what I said. It's a Premier League roundup, bro. It's a Premier League roundup. Our last three games. You know what? Forget last week. Four games this month. Our the score is eighteen Arsenal. Two of this. Eighteen. Look how they're playing football. Look how they're playing football now. In our last four games, we're I, I need, I need to give props to a certain player on our team. Yes, and I can't wait because- He's yeah. been there. He's actually been one of the spearheads of these 18 goals. Please, I'd love to hear it. His name is German. He played left back for Germany not long ago. And he scored from there. And he scored from there. And he's been playing up front for Arsenal. And his name is King Kai Havertz. Yeah, it still hurts me. He says it because he was hating on him so uh, much. No, I no, like, I still hate on him, but I can't lie. He's been- he didn't start a striker all four games. No, no he hasn't no, started. And he's been one of the spearheads oh, in yeah, those yeah, yeah. like the Newcastle game. I think West maybe Ham. three of the goals were because of his pressing. Well. The West Ham game. Yeah. West Ham, he was elite. Uh, Burnley, he was very good. Yeah. Um, Liverpool, he was decent when we played them. Yeah. Like he's Liverpool, been. We got Kanata sent off. Yeah, but he's been very, very. Liverpool's my favorite player. He's been very, very good for us. This like, bro, people are saying he's a purple patch. This is not a purple patch. This has been like two months of him playing good, consistently good. And I I'm happy Arteta and Havertz have found their. Roles for each other. Arteta in the role of him playing as the main striker and the the guy who <coughs> leads the press, and uh, Havertz knowing I'm the gonna do the dog work for you guys up front. I'm not gonna be the pretty boy that scores all the goals. I'm gonna do all the dog work for you guys. So what and, do you think? And, and, and on top of that as well, when he plays up front, it's like if you notice Havertz, bro, there's a presence. He's now. always finds himself free in the box, mm -hmm. and there's a skill to that. Yeah, correct. There's an art to that. Do you not wonder why he always ends no, up no, there's an art. free there's an art. in the box? The movement is mad. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very, very the impressive. But do you guys feel like it's... Because Trussard has been playing as a, as a false nine as well. And he's, and he's been scoring as well. He's been yeah. scoring as well. So, so what do you think is the best uh, formation? Is it Trussard as a nine or Havertz as a nine? Because <laughs> <laughs> I fought and I thought he was smart. Um, but I can't. I can't no, smell you, it. you looked at me in my eyes, man. <laughs> no, because you <laughs> looked at mad. me mid fight. I was, and I was like, like I did you smell it already? Now I want to hear your answer. But um, <laughs> my my best midfield, like and front three, is I've I've it said. This. But the thing is, I can't. It depends on this. games. It depends on the game. But I've said it for months. It's it should be Jorginho, hundred percent. Declan Rice. I've said, yeah. said it for months. I've said it for months. But it does Jorginho. depend on the game. But me yeah, starting every game, starting every game. It should be Jorginho and Declan Rice. Jorginho for me has been one of my generally one been one of my <laughs> oh, favorite players for years. I wish we signed him. I wish I had five we, years ago. When we was at, when he was at Napoli, when he was at Chelsea, when he's at Arsenal, was it Napoli or Lazio? Napoli. Yeah, Napoli. Napoli. Yeah. All three of those clubs. When he was at Chelsea, I was like, when I used to watch him, I used to say, "This is a player." Yeah, of course. This is what your midfielder should be, like the way he passes forward. And Everything about oh. he's my favorite reality TV show star as well. Amazing, he hates his Have wife. I've watched Married to the Game. He hates his yeah. girlfriend. I've been yeah. already. It's yeah. unbelievable. He's it's like Morris is like, in. Yeah, Morris yeah. did it. Jorginho, yeah. uh, the the yeah. and then the Gundogan, yeah. and Tarkovsky, yeah. Yeah. and then Matt Turner. Tarkovsky it's like watching simp. Real Housewives <laughs> yeah. or whatever, yeah. but it's the Premier League, so I love it. Yeah, yeah drama, bro, it's unbelievable. It's, it's so good. Hilarious. And Jorginho is class. Yeah, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Jorginho as well is class in that. But um, hmm. I just wanted to bring, I want to mention no, no, that I'm not getting paid, I'm not getting paid for that. I actually really enjoy watching it's that. Actually that actually funny. Even I'm Matt Turner's in it. Huh? Even Matt Turner's in it. Yeah, Matt Turner. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for a season two with Faisal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Faisal and Trent. Jorginho and his wife. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's Trent and his wife. girl. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the corner like this. He's like Joe from you. They're like, who's that? Yeah, the yeah, Arab yeah, brother yeah. in the back all the time. 
<laughs> or the cap. <laughs> yeah, who's that Arab running back? He's always got a Real Madrid top one. Uh, trying to coerce him to come to Madrid. <laughs> but yeah, no, Jorginho, I feel oh, like, oh. like what I really want as well is, <clears throat> I want to find a player who has all of Georgina's attributes. But younger. He's younger. You know? No, but we athletic. have that. We have that in part. Georgina's not even old. We have that in part. Same age as Fouad. Damn. <laughs> so That's crazy. No, he is. That's crazy. So will I. He is though. And then look at the difference. And no, I but to be honest, I, I think Georgina, I don't think Georgina can run a 10K the way Fouad can. No, Fouad's an athlete. <laughs> I don't think he can. Fouad's an athlete. I think Georgina, oh, well, yeah, yeah, hey, hey, Fouad played football with Qatar. Hey, he was slight tackle man. He's an athlete. Man of the match, well, I. Yeah, man, no, he's an athlete. But no, it's back to Jim. When he wakes up and his knees. Don't fall <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Like, I just feel sorry for it. Like, for uh, <laughs> back to the game, back to but the no, game. No, generally, I, Arsenal I think is slashing it. Arsenal, by the way, are, are, yeah. totally are, Arsenal are right now have been the best team in the Premier League. <laughs> Arsenal are the informed team in the Premier League. No, Another we're player we haven't mentioned, Kaya Saka. Bro, that's spearheading. Bro, Five bro. games in a row he scored in. Shocking. Let me just say something. What? And they're not. Please tell me, because there's. Now there are different types of finishes. Roof of the net, right foot. Oh. He did that Mbappe finish the other day. Please, I could cry, I could cry, I'm right. going to give you the floor. Oh my days, man. Do, can I speak about every individual player on the pitch? <laughs> yes. Like, are we allowed that much time? We don't have that much time. We're allowed that much time. Because if I start from David Raya, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I was saying Ramsdale over yeah, you, but yeah, sorry, Ramsdale, man. It's time to cut. We've got David Raya. We've got a cat in goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen, there's, name me a goalkeeper uh, other than the, the best keepers in the league, like other than Alisson, that, who's so commanding in the area. Mm. Every time a cross comes in, I know he's getting the ball. I don't have to worry. I know a counter attack's about to start. Martinelli's already started running. Saka's waiting for the cutback. That's how good he is in at commanding the box. Then you've got Gabriel. He's Saliba last year. Unbelievable. He's Saliba last year. No one's talking about him. He's as good as Saliba was last year. Everyone was dick riding Saliba last year. I was dick riding it. This year, Gabriel, I'm dick riding you. What a player this year. Can I? Wait, wait, Bro, oh my God. Kiwi, I don't care about him. Nah, he's, but just there. Still he's just there. <laughs> he's just there. <laughs> he's been high, right, man. He's just there, man. I can't wait to get he a new left back. Goal. I can't wait to get a new left back. He's just there, innit? Ben White. Love him. One of my favorite players at Arsenal. Weirdly enough, I love him a lot. Yeah, like, I've always liked Jorginho, that guy. Yeah, <laughs> I said it already. One of my, he's been one of my favorite players the last five, ten years. Unreal. You got Declan Rice when he plays next to Jorginho. Jeez, is man. a different. He's an animal. I see him in the box scanning he's like he's about to score a goal. Then you go further forward. You got Odegaard, who's become an Odegaard that he was before because he's got the the trust in Jorginho in front of him. Declan Rice is not as good as threading the ball, but bet, uh, between the lines as Declan Rice is. Yeah, yeah. but Correct. he does it amazing. Yeah, Jorginho does it for Odegaard. Then you've got Saka. Okay. What can't he? Come on! What can't he Five do? Five games in a row. What can't he do? I said, I, I said earlier this season he was slow, and it was true. He was slow. But no, we're, we're, we're doing season. what Man City do now. Take your time, baby. Take yeah. your time. We need you for the business. That's what City Saka, do, they yeah. take slow, time. Yeah. Take time. Don't worry. Score ten he goals. Was he was slow. Yeah, get ten. To get ten goals. Though. No one cares about the ten goals. Score five goals in five goals in yeah. five games. Nah, nah, reason I was mad that you're saying slow because last season he got fifteen league goals, and that was all together. And that was everyone saying obviously. We fumbled it at the end, but everyone's mm. saying Saka had a great season last season, which he did. <coughs> he's already got 13 league goals this season already. So and he's apparently he's having a media season. He's going to beat the 15 league goal season. Mm. He's got 13 goals, seven assists in the Premier League. That's 20 GA in 25 games, which is a ridiculous mm -hmm. like number. Which that's crazy. That's a, but, but, yeah. and, and that's only, we're only and just finishing February. Mm -hmm. But before the GA... He's going to beat that. But early this but season... But people are talking like he's, like he's not having a, as good right, yeah. right, yeah. right, no, season. Early, early this season, the GA yeah. was there, but the performances wasn't there. The performances weren't there, but... But now the performance, now he's combining the GAs but, and the performances. Now the you, impact, I, I can that's see what the, the top impact. players do. Yeah, that's exactly. what the top players do. Like Salah, the, like all this. No, they don't have an effect they're, on the game, they'll, but they'll, they'll get something. Early season, they'll clock in the goals, <clears> but the performances come when it gets to February. Now March. I can see it. And that's what he's I turning into one. He's, but he's turning, mm. you're seeing the development now in Saka of he's transitioning into those top level players. Oh, yeah. He just to keep that going. The, the Saka baby, slow down. Begin the season, first 15 games, slow down. Facts, You're good. Facts, You're good. Facts, but, but We're yeah. going to look after you. We're going to ice your knees after now. every game. We're going to look after you, man. I love it. I see it. Minute, yeah. 15 minutes to go. Reese Nelson, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Trossard, I need you on the pitch. I like that. Jesus, when he comes back, get on the pitch. Because Jesus, if he starts when he comes back, well, I'm going to have words with Arteta. When I see him, I'm going to say, come on. Havertz playing this good and you just bring in this BCM guy. Come on. like We've got Martinelli. I haven't even finished. We've got Martinelli on the left. Trossard came in and said, yo, hold the bench for not in the Forest game. I'm going to play. Martinelli, since that game's changed, mm. he said, my position's gone. I need to come He's back. hasn't scored in the last three games. He don't need to score. Goals. He yeah, don't need yeah, to score. He's another one of our triggers. He's yeah, another one there. of our triggers. Him and Havertz, when they start that press, yeah. it's long. It's long. It's not like Man United. The ball gets played over the top. We've got four fast centre-backs playing at the back. They're getting it. We've got Raya the cat waiting. Yeah. Come on. 
No, right What's now, not to like? No, no, What's right not now, to like? Right now, we're in solid form, and I think right now it's like things are clicking really well. We're scoring sixes and oh. fives and fours. Fifteen oh. goals on last three games. Uh, kept clean sheets in two of them. Conceded a late scary. goal. Conceded a late goal to Willock. But it's if scary. it wasn't for that 84th minute Willock goal, it would have been three clean sheets in a row after scoring fifteen goals in three games. It was ridiculous. And we wasn't there, and I heard that was the best atmosphere this season. Yeah, we were in Qatar, so I was devastated. Yeah, I, yeah. I was genuinely. I heard. I genuinely heard that was the best atmosphere this season. Look. I thought the Liverpool game when I was with him. And I thought the stadium was going to fly up and land on Tottenham Stadium and destroy their stadium. I thought that was the craziest atmosphere <laughs> I had. It was scary. I saw, people went and they said, this is ridiculous. People that I go every week that I know, they said, this best atmosphere this season. But they I said they like haven't seen Arsenal play that good in the first half in a long time. But, but I, I, I watched the game in, yeah. at the hotel. You guys, were, you guys were great. I'm not denying we it. But at the same time, at the same time, Newcastle was just as poor. As no, no, of course. Newcastle, Newcastle have not poor. been good this season. They've been poor. Newcastle. And and Eddie Howe's another manager, I think, that's going to walk in assume, the summer. Mm. Like, 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 the goal, uh, was it the second? Was ha- It was Havertz's goal. Mm. It was Havertz's goal where, the, where uh, Martinelli... Where Martinelli that was, was very Martin- good assist. Oh, the uh, Jorginho pass. Uh, the, the jo- jo- yeah. Amazing pass for Jorginho Martinelli. Yeah. But Come that cross for Martinelli yeah. and having shot a bottom and not even intercepting or clearing on. it, yeah. that was just just to yeah. showcase how bad Newcastle... Even, even the chance where Odegaard should have played the first time to have it, the tap-in, that was poor from them. They've been poor. This they've season, been poor. they've they've done what everyone thought they were going to do last season, and they would just be. But last season was just they 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 did it. They exceeded expectations. Honeymoon, honeymoon. it was the honeymoon. Ha- honeymoon period. Yes, exactly. it was the honeymoon. We exactly. got new owners. Let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah, 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 now, when Jose Mourinho comes knock on door, <clears throat> says "Salam alaikum, guys." I'm coming to the team. Trust me. I think, me I think the, the most important thing is, and obviously, I just mentioned that the last three games, we conceded one goal after scoring 15 goals, and two in the last four league games, we're scoring 18 goals. It's how impressive our defensive stats have been because no one it's not exciting defending no scoring goals exciting 5 nil, 6 nil. Mm. that's exciting but people aren't realising bro the difference between last season yeah we're, we're more exciting last season but this season how much more of a solid base we have we're suffocating you know? teams bro, we're nullifying it's so them. hard to generally <coughs> score against us right this season we have the lowest expected goals conceded in the whole Premier League right the fewest shots even faced like That's our keepers aren't facing shots because yeah. of how well we're defending. High Raya's pitch. getting overpaid because he's not it's saving how, shots. Like, bro, how how far up we're defending? <laughs> what, it's, a, yeah, it's the the, the highest shots yeah. even faced. The fewest shots on target <clears throat> conceded, and obviously the fewest goals conceded in the league, and the most clean shoots right now in the league <clears throat> as well. Like people are realizing these are so important because I always say, it, bro, if if you don't concede a goal, you wouldn't. You can't, it's impossible to lose a game. Yep. <laughs> you, no, but I'm saying no, it you sounds, minimum get a point. No, it sounds you minimum obvious. get a point. No, no, but I'm saying it sounds Duh. it sounds obvious. But no, the reason I'm saying that defense is wins championships. The reason I'm saying that is because it's the old classic saying of mm. like defense defense wins the championships, yeah. right? Because you could score three goals <clears throat> and it's exciting, but you can lose four three. Mm. You know, so just as important scoring goals is it's happened before. You could score three, four goals and lose a game, bro. It's facts. Bournemouth game last but season. Those if kind you of don't concede yeah. a goal, it sounds dumb and obvious to say, but something sometimes the most no, obvious no, thing, no, 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 sometimes no, no. the most obvious thing is actually the smartest thing. Know. You know, some of these famous quotes that everyone loves, it's just a <laughs> simple thing, and yeah. it's like, oh my god, it's genius. Don't concede a goal. It's in physically impossible to lose the game. Mm-hmm. The worst you can get is a draw. You get a point, and that's better than no. Exactly, points. it's impossible. So it's like that's why defense is so important. I think this season, I think how well Arteta has. And that's why I'm always like, oh, when a clean sheet comes, everyone credits the goalkeeper and the defenders. But it's, the, it's, it's, the, it's, the it's whole, defending it's the is the whole team. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you weren't even facing shots now. You can see mm. it. You we're not facing see. shots. That mm-hmm. means we're breaking teams <coughs> up and we're suffocating them. We're cu- like in the middle of the pitch and we're forcing them out wide and making... You know, having to cross it in because we're so solid here through That's that fr- middle box that we have. Bro, if you if it's, you look it's at so the, important, but people yeah. aren't noticing these things and can't break it down like that because of right. how well we are doing this. Because the first thirty minutes, the press was made by the by, by the trio. Yeah, Jorginho De class was def- was 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 <coughs> defending the pocket so well. Bro, you, as you said, it, Newcastle were weren't able to escape from bro, their they were own suffocated, box. Bro. They were it suffocated. was so it was so bad. Yeah. And and the press, as you said, it is it you defend as a unit the yep. way you guys are compact. But now nah, I feel like you mentioned Gabriel. Mm-hmm. I feel like this season, and he's added now the the, the set piece. The, by the way, you, you yo. That set piece manager let's, you man have. But let's oh, talk about Nicholas Yova. Let's, well, like let's, let's talk about set pieces. Let's talk about set pieces. Let's talk about set before before we went to Dubai, we were still the highest scoring t- uh, team in the league for set pieces. We went to Dubai, so we need to change that. And how can you go from how it. can you go from being the best to being even better? Mm. 
Yeah, like, it's crazy, yeah. bro. It's it went from Declan Rice. I remember the first corner he took. I was I there. I remember the first corner he we took. We was there I at was the there. game, and, and I was like, Saliba scored. I was like, everyone was like, why is Declan Rice taking the corner? And Saliba headed it in. I was like, there you go. That's the reason. Remember Trossard was taking it. Couldn't be the first bro, man. Oh, Trossard Martinelli. <laughs> I hate them taking corners, yeah. bro. I see Trossard go in the corner. I know it's not being the first man. Never. <laughs> it's like I don't know what technique they're using. Declan Rice just puts it in there. And guess what? In twenty twenty four. No player in the whole Premier League has more assists than Declan Rice. See, he's going and straight into my FPL team next week from that. Yeah. Just because mm. he said that he's going to my FPL team. Bro, yeah, it's uh, unreal, bro. Because like, he's, he's yeah. got FPL. He's keeping clean sheets and he's getting assists. Yeah, you see? Yeah. What's more, what's not to like? And he plays full 90 minutes. Yeah, what's minutes. not to like? Back and like, you don't get bookings. Gabriel, you know what he's doing? You know what I do? And by the way, before <clears> everyone says, oh, you, you're crazy. What are you doing? You're a fake Madrid fan. So chill out, chill out. What I'm going to say now, I'm not, I'm not comparing them. Rudiger. I'm, no, 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 I'm not comparing them. Oh, I said you're I see where you're, I like where you're going. I'm not comparing like them. I'm just, yeah, I like that. I'm I like just, I'm like just, it. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm I just saying. <laughs> I see it now. I see it now. I see it now. I see it now. The table might start rising, you know. <laughs> the table might rise from two sides of the table. Uh, I'm not saying they're similar. They're, they're not yes, similar defending. Say. I'm just saying when it comes to the set pieces, mm. the th- <laughs> it's ridiculous though. The threat, the threat that they have. Keep going, just oh, like in that in, inside that box, yeah, bro. It's Sergio Ramos vibes. That's oh. ridiculous. That's ridiculous, bro. Bro, Van Dyke. I, I watched threat it. in the box. John yeah, Terry yeah, yeah. threat in the box. Why do I go straight to Sergio Ramos? This is no, no, leave him. Leave him. He's there. No He's there. He got me. He got me. He got you know me. why? He got me. Gabriel. <laughs> don't stop. Me, Gabriel. Don't this stop, season. Don't stop. Gabriel. This season has the, has got the most heading goals in the whole in the whole Europe. I watched it with Sergio. You know what? When we when, when we had a corner, I get happy. Why? Because I know the Capitan is at the box. Yeah, mm. but they got all about Virgil. What you're comparing? Yeah, but I'm not. Well, but the way he's saying it is mad. It's mad, isn't it? I don't. I don't agree with what that's he's saying. What I, think no, no, I, don't, I don't agree I as well. As but I like it. As a Real Madrid fan, that's very disrespectful. That's what I'm to saying. Like it. No, no, no. It's very disrespectful. Like you just wiped yeah. out his whole legacy to me in my eyes. <laughs> his whole legacy, you just wiped it all off. Wallahi, right? all I'm saying at the moment. But well, Wallahi as well. It's, crazy, it's, it's giving me slowly and slowly the way my man every game. He's a threat inside the box. It's the set piece coaching. Yeah. It's close. And we've got units in the box, yeah, bro. Everyone in the box is over 6 1. These guys are scary. We've got Havertz, Saliba, 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 Sometimes Ben White's in there. Rice is a giant. If, he's not in, if Declan Rice is not in there, we've got bare yeah, big guys. Yassi when he plays as a giant. Yeah. I can't Martinelli's a threat in the box. There was a corner, yeah? You said Van Dijk. Hold on, you said Van Dijk. He's a threat in the box. You think, hold on. You think Van Dijk is more threat as a Van Ramos? Who's I know. I don't see see what I'm I said you talk about Gabriel, Even and me. I said there's other people that are also threats in the box, like Van Dyke, like Terry was, but I said he went straight to Ramos. Yeah, of course, you got to the best. <laughs> of so Gabriel, you're comparing Gabriel to the best already straight away. That's what I'm saying. No, no, he's slowly, yeah, he's he's slowly, he's gradually. Guy, he's, so he's if you go getting, slowly, gradually, then go, go from about. the ones before, yeah. you know like the Van Dyke. Yeah. First, yeah. first, you're gonna get You're gonna go jail when you go to next time. You know, but just waffles, bro. I so if you lose to Porto, do you think confidence gone? Because right now you, yeah, you guys be, are playing with no, I can't lie, that'll be you man are playing, <laughs> you man are playing with confidence from the that'll fans. Be a big yeah. word because I'm not gonna lie. Listen, <clears throat> March, is, February was for me. I know we lost to Porto in the first leg, but February for me was an incredible success. Right, almost perfect. December, late December, early January, we had that bad run of form. We couldn't score a goal to save our lives. Went to Dubai, had a couple weeks off. Went to Dubai, came back. We're a trope now. Right. We scored 18 goals in, in February. Uh, we've conceded three in all competitions. Um, we've won, we won four of them. We, won, we lost the one in the Champions League. March now is a very important month for us. For mm-hmm. Two reasons. 10th of March, Anfield. Liverpool versus City. That's a big game for us. Right? When is that? When is that? 10th of, 10th of March. Liverpool versus City at Anfield. We need a draw. Please and thank you. Dude, please. Well, I please. Wait, wait, also, well, let, let, let me tell finish you. We'll, let me tell you we'll March is important for us because we also play City on the 31st of March. That's another big that's a six pointer. Am I might go to that one, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely going. I had to though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let me tell you why March is AV, important. AV. Let me tell you why March is important. We just played that th- those games. We now have Sheffield United away. That should be we beat Bo- we beat Burnley and West Ham 4-0 or 6-0. I need seven. Away. We beat Burnley and West Ham 4-0 or 6-0 away. We need a similar kind of form. <clears throat> then we've got Brentford at home. We need to smoke them. Like we smoked Newcastle. Then we've got Porto Porto second leg. We need to smoke them. We're one no down. Then we've got Chelsea at home. We need to smoke them. Yeah, there's billions. Then we go away to City. That month, and and the fixture in that month that also isn't nothing to do with us is that Liverpool City game. So there's six games, because that's basically an Arsenal game as well. March mm. is a very like important like month that. for us. I like that. March is a like very important... We've got a month by month like now. One. March is a very important month for us. Like six one. games. You're Arsenal that day. Six <laughs> games. Ten for right? Arsenal. Ramadan, we're going to be fasting. Extra prayers I'm going to put oh, in. Oh, bro, the, the eyes I'm going to make. Those games need to go our way. It's going to my family and, uh, and Arsenal. Bro, 
<laughs> Those games need to go our way because March is very yeah, important for us. You're making for your family. You're making well, no, no, it's going to both. Family. Oh, okay. but yeah, also technically my family as well. Also technically my family. I can't lie. I can't lie. From the five games that you mentioned, only only three of them you guys gonna win. So what are the three games? City, you man are losing. Uh, Etihad, it's long day. We're different now. It's long day. We're different. And now. I can't lie, Porto, <laughs> you guys are not winning that game. I can't lie, Porto, we're touching them three now. Yeah, we're spoken them. We are touching them, bro. We Do you not to. see how the managers have been talking? How their players have been talking? Of course. We're taking that to our And they've, they've got every right to say of that. Of course they have every right. No, I'm talking about after they the game. Think, they Before the game, I understand. Because Porto are actually, they're, champions, they're a serious Champions League yeah. team. After the game, yeah, you lot had more possession. But uh, you score goals when you games. <laughs> yeah, right, watch. Next game, yeah? Right. When we have 7%, we win 3-0. What? Yeah, man, have, you seen, have you seen City's run, though? <clears throat> I haven't. 10th of City. March, listen. Never much. much. No, no, no. That's oh, a listen, sixth game for us, bro. Perfect time. Look at City's let's run. Let's move on to City game. Look right at now. their run. I will. Yeah. And now let's move on to City. City played Bournemouth. They won yeah, 1 0 away from home. Dynasty. There, before we speak about that game, <laughs> we're going to move to what? To their run. Okay, let's look at their run. All right. They got looted in the FA Cup tomorrow, or at the time was recording today. Then they got Manchester Derby. <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah. Wait, I, I want, want you, man, to hit. Yeah. They got FA Cup game, yeah. What, midweek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about tomorrow yesterday, bro. bro. Think about Where's it? Home or away? Come on, man. Who, have you, who have you lot yeah. got? Yeah. Yeah. Let, let them play all the Who have you lot got? Haha, <laughs> Rumbridge is not in it. <laughs> <laughs> then they got a Manchester derby on Sunday. Yeah. Please, United, do the job. Come on. Do something. I'm with you, Liban. So I'm, I'm, I'm not doing anything, man. <laughs> then they got, then they got I'm going to ride the storm that day. Then they yeah, got Champions League. I see a double hatchet. You asked for the schedule, I'm telling you. Then they got Copenhagen. You know me. Copenhagen. Then they got Liverpool away. That's basically an awesome game. Brighton away. Arsenal at home, Shh. Villa at home, Shh. and Palace away as well. It's a bogey team for them, bro. They yeah. Ooh, yeah. Villa's, got, Villa's a tough game as well. Them two, fatal. Look even though we got Spurs pretty soon after that as well. Look at the, the power their side. Their schedule is mad. Their schedule's mad. Arsenal's schedule's mad. Ours is and not then mad. you have us. I just yeah, read our one. Your schedule's the easiest. So you know who's winning. It's the easiest out of the done. What do you mean? Yours is what? What do you say? Sheffield United away. Yeah. Brentford West. at home. Yeah. Porto. Yeah. Chelsea at home. Yeah. Light work. And then City. Yeah. And what did Fatal say? They say we're only gonna win two. We're only gonna win three. <laughs> why are you saying in his accent though? <laughs> Yo, f- I ain't bad. You know? We're only gonna win. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, City played against Bournemouth anyways. Oh, they boring. won one nil. A oh, boring game. Phil man. Foden goal. Harlan just. Uh, by the way, he looks off it again. By the way, by the way, that Phil, right that, uh, yeah. Foden, yeah, he needs to drop that celebration. Will I? He doesn't see it. What, oh, the gun no one? aura, no aura. What, the shooting <laughs> on? No, what does he do again? Do it, do it? <laughs> yeah, I, want see, I want to see you do it. No, no, no. If I do it, they'll start having <laughs> bad things. Like it's a horrible celebration. Right? <laughs> uh, I horrible. can't do it. <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's gonna be what black is black it? Because his number's 47, isn't it? <laughs> 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 he said, I'm not, he's not going to do it. Because I always think of, I'm going to think of bad things. <laughs> in the past, man. In the past. <laughs> oh, when you went back to Iraq, just not long ago. <laughs> Some of the burners. You said. I was there, man. Send them out. But like, he doesn't drop that celebration. <laughs> like, he scored huh? the only goal of the game. <laughs> <laughs> he scored the only goal of the game. Uh, City kept the clean sheet. Listen, just because they don't win 2 3 no, they don't have to. Sometimes the City do this. There's something off about Go them. Go away from home. Mm. Yeah, but what? But they're winning. Things are off winning. about them. They'll still get a win. Yeah, that's course, that's course, what course. makes them so good. No, Haaland, there's something off about Haaland. Mm. I th- he doesn't look 100 percent, you know. Mm. He's, he's, he's not. He's not 100. Yeah. I think last uh, he scored. He scored against uh, what, uh, Brentford. He scored last two games. He scored against Brentford. Yeah. Double game week. So uh, one. Goal no, but even when he's playing those games, you can still chances. see there's something the not, not is there. Missing. The runs. Well, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. I agree. He, yeah, it's mad. The chances, especially the chances. Well, uh, the chances. I've he, never seen that He's missing from him. easy, easy chances. The runs that he's making is not the same. It, no, do you know what it is for me? He's not missing. He's missing the target. Yeah, with mm. these chances, that's bad. I get when he hits the target and the keeper saves it. Sometimes he has a scruffy shot and it's like a bit of an awkward one. Mm. But he's missing the target like completely. Bournemouth, completely. he missed a couple not sitters, but he missed a couple chances where he would normally hit the target and something will come from it. So he's a bit like there's something missing. I think uh, I think a couple of weeks ago his <coughs> um, his grandmother passed. I think. Um, I, yeah, someone in his family passed. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I don't know who. I read that, but but you're right. He's not. He's not the. You know what? That myth about him being clinical. Well, that's the biggest myth. Like he's not clinical. He's not no, 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 no. It's you, I would just say no, no. Striker. He's not a clinical <coughs> finisher. That's what, what is he then? Huh? Why if is you're scoring thirty six Premier League goals, yeah, you're, you're clinical. a clinical striker. Why bro. Is he the top scorer then? Uh, his uh, his xG, his xG uh, is higher than, uh, than than a lot of people. Yeah, because he creates a lot of chances. If you ask me right now, who's a clinical striker between Kane or Haaland? Kane is a more clinical striker. Yes, if you put Kane in a one-on-one situation, I think 10 times out of 10, he's scoring. If you put Haaland in one... Not It'll be eight, eight, eight times out of 10. Seven. That's, very, that's but, 80%. That's clinical. But, but Haaland will have <laughs> more 70%, chances yeah. than Kane. 60. 
Say that again. That's Harlem Harlem's Wood. Have yeah, Harlem have more shots. So eighty percent. Let's say Kane has. Let's say Harlem. Let's say you're saying. Let's say know. Kane has ten shots. So, so Kane, let's say you say Kane scored ten out of ten times. Harlem mm-hmm. scored eight out of ten times. Mm-hmm. So Kane scores hundred percent of the chances. Harlem scores eighty percent of their chances. Mm-hmm. Chances. But Kane gets five chances, so he scores five. But Harlem gets. 10 chances every game. His, his percentage eight. are higher. Yeah. So even though his percentage is lower, mm-hmm. he scored eight and Kane scored five. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he was presented more chances. Mm-hmm. And that may be because of the team he's in, uh, because of him, how his, well his movement is. So Harlem will always score more goals than Kane because mm-hmm. he'll always have more chances. But even though, but Kane is still more clinical. That's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, I understand. <coughs> but yeah, he did a score in this game and Foden did. And I thought he was won. going somewhere with that point, you know? No, I just yeah, so I was waiting. I was waiting for like the, the punchline. Punch yeah. No, there's no punchline. I just broke down what you guys are no, saying. No, but you're right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're saying he's less clinical, <coughs> I'm saying he'll still score more because of he'll always. Bro, I think a striker who scores chances. seven out of ten chances is a clinical striker. Seventy percent goals is ridiculous, bro. Six out, of, six well, out. Of, six bro, is bro, ridiculous. Bro. I think if you're scoring four out of ten chances, you're a good striker, bro. That's a good bro, finisher, bro. He's he's of yeah. course a great striker. He's an incredible you're striker. He's not, but he's not clinical in my opinion. This season, he's been the biggest demonstration. He's got seventeen league goals and his top scorer. Yeah, and. Well, it, when someone doesn't score, put in, mate. Well, he's, he's missing chances and everything. But, but in my opinion, I think what Pep has done is so great. In my opinion, is uh, this Alvarez thing? Well, I thank you so much, man. <laughs> well, I just take him off the bench. Well, I just put him on the bench, bro. I've had enough of him playing, playing as a ten, just, 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 just occupying space that he shouldn't be occupying. Who's that, Wallah. Alvarez? Alvarez, bro. Well, I call him. Just take him off. Well, I just get him out, man. But who should they play instead? Huh? Who should they play instead of Alvarez? They're now uh, last. I know Kevin De Bruyne didn't play against Bournemouth. Uh, last game they played Nunes as a ten. Uh, mm. They're trying to put him a bit higher. Yeah, that guy's ass, man. Him and Kovacic, bad signings for them. <laughs> food, do you want food? Bacon shake would be nice. See what I add, add order. <laughs> oh, carry on, man. This is podcast. We're chilling, man. Yeah, 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 Let yeah. them order some food while we talk, man. Yeah, we don't right. need to be yeah, strict. Guys, it's one thirty-five, and it's all because of Facebook today. Why are we from so late? We're not order food. We don't need to be strict. You know, That's right, no. guys, we're ordering food while we're talking. I like carry on. That's why Nunes. I like. What I say? Yeah, I was thinking, yo, read it out for me. That's why Nunes playing a bit high on the pitch for me. It's a smart idea. You are testing him out. See how things go. Taking Julian out, man. It's who? Julian. Come on, act, bro. You're Iraqi and Danish. <laughs> You're not Spanish, bro. <laughs> Julian. Come on, man. Be yourself, brother. Be yourself, man. Be your... <laughs> Iraqi and Danish, like, come on, man. Julian, no? Come on, man. Spaniel, man. Come on, man. Come on, me habla Spaniel. You made me sick. Me habla Spaniel. But having fun on the left hand side, man. How many times, man? How many times do we need to tell Pep? Mm. Put him as a 10 act. I know he's good. Well, I know he's good. I know he's been scoring with that. He's been having a good with season. this media celebration of his. Yeah. But play him as a ten. Let me see a bit more Philippa Foden magic as a ten. KDB wasn't there. KDB didn't start. If KDB starts, yeah, I hear it. I'm like, maybe he doesn't. He, he doesn't want them to play them together. When KDB is not playing, yeah. play him as a ten. He started in that ten. They have two tens though, don't they? He didn't. Uh, no, nah, uh, Foden on, on that game. He was playing on. on for me, on for me, City's best midfield and attack. Their defense. They always reshape it. Akanji's, Ake's, Stones. They always reshape their back four. For me, their best. What? No, no, go on, go on. No, for me, their best midfield and attack. It goes Rodri as the sitting man. Mm-hmm. Always. Rodri. Then Bernardo, Kevin De Bruyne, Foden, Grealish, and Haaland. Yes, okay. I think Grealish yes. this season. Unfortunately, I don't know why Pep's suddenly taking him out. He must no, be seeing no, something. But then again, if you notice, he plays Grealish in the big game. Big game, Champions big League. Games. He played him straight away. He got injured in Champions League game. I think the Copenhagen game. Yeah. Unfortunately, of course. But I think Grealish, it has been not has been will be their difference maker in the running. And obviously, so. Kevin De Bruyne is obviously the difference maker. Haaland is the obvious difference maker. But I think someone like Grealish coming back in will be a big thing for them because he wins so many fouls. He mm. can beat his man. He's actually a very good footballer. He's a very good passer. He's a very underrated passer as well. Yes. And he, like I said, he can beat his man. So I feel like he will be a very underrated player that comes back in. Doku's not been it. Doku's, 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 guys have found out he does the shimmy and then he goes it's nowhere. It's predictable though. It's predictable. Yeah, like he, one crazy like he, yeah, he yeah, does the ball shimmy, ball but game. he doesn't cross he, or shoot. Like when he does the shimmy, he doesn't cross or shoot. Like you're meant to do the that's shimmy and do product. one or the other. That's not, yeah, that's not like he done the five GA against Bournemouth, I think it was, or the four GA that one game, and it's been good. So I think he's had one since then. Yeah, and 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 and, and Stones, I think no one's no one's been talking about, but Stones <laughs> coming back from an injury yeah. has helped them so much defensively. Yeah, yeah. Last year, last year we were talking that like December, January, we were talking about how poor City was defensively. They conceded against Luton mm. every mm. game over the past couple of games. The same way you guys that your clean sheet record has been great. Mm-hmm. Go pre City's record as well, like in terms of the the last couple of games, bro. They haven't conceded, bro. 
Bro, this guy, you know this guy's ordering four sandwiches. What's wrong with you, bro? Says four sandwiches. What Come on, man. I don't believe him. I'm putting sauce on my team. Come on, bro. But look, I know you're hungry, but four sandwiches. No, no, no. Fam, That's crazy, bro. Like, Come on, man. So now you're doing this. You're, you're doing the body shaming thing. <laughs> Say nine. No, yeah, you're right. See, you've got clean sheet against Bournemouth. Clean sheet against Brentford. But the thing is, they're not scoring a lot. 1-0 against Bournemouth. 1-0 against Brentford. 1-1 <laughs> against Chelsea. They haven't scored more than one goal in their last three Premier League games in a row. But, but, this, is, but, but this is Pep. Before, he'll score a lot of goals. He'll concede a lot of goals. Oh, so he's doing the reverse Arsenal. No, no. Slow down, baby. Slow down, baby. That's <laughs> what he's telling his ways. Well, like, I think Pep is like, you know what? Let me let me make it harder for myself. <laughs> how can I win? How can I win the Prem? <clears throat> Be <clears throat> as difficult as it is. Well, like last season he did it. I, well, I, well, I respect him, man. I respect him. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think Pep's, talk, I don't think Pep's making it harder for himself. This, I think his teams. It's difficult. Like everyone says, dynasty. Um, when everyone talks about dynasties, they always talk about what. How can you chop and change, and how can you keep a dynasty? motivated i think they're getting to that final hurdle of where like yo this is like we're tired mm. like we've won our three in a row mm. was well, they've won three in a row leagues right they've yeah, they won their treble they won their treble if we don't get the fourth it's not that deep we've done the treble on the treble like i think it's going to get to that point where the players are just like yo we're tired and i think pep's going to get tired as well because it takes a lot out you know of course they're doing like 60 f- they're tired. going like 65 mm. game seasons every year bro because they're getting far in every trophy and I feel like it's getting to that point now where they're getting to that that hurdle where it's like we just can't make it over this hurdle. This month, <clears throat> this month. Well, okay, sorry, not this month. Next month, March, is so important. I told you, I said the March, same thing. March, no, is, March is crazy. Forget, I said it, April, bro. forget me. I told you, March. I told you, March gonna is crazy. Ma- if you come out of March Madness, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you come, <laughs> that's what it's gonna be called. It's, it's March, called March Madness. Madness. Right. If you come you out there, like, basketball, it's basketball. Yeah, yeah, you know, three of us took Dynasty and we took March Madness. You know we're gonna go. On, we're going to war. Us no, three. I'm not gonna go. It's Mars. Royal Rumble. Yeah, One man. person is gonna I, get yeah, knocked yeah, out. I'm saying chat. Let's <laughs> stream, guys. We might have to bring back live watch logs and watch. No, no, March Madness. Oh yeah, yeah, we maybe to. you know. We have maybe. to. Well, fasting as well. And, yeah, we're oh, gonna yeah, call yeah, it March Madness. Yeah, yeah. It is going to be the most peaceful uh, watch ever. No, no, no. Certain men are gonna break their fast, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you now. No, March is crazy. Yes, in March it's gonna be crazy. March every episode is gonna be crazy. Someone's gonna get hurt. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Someone's not gonna come Facts. out of it alive. Thanks. It's, but yeah. basically, we're in, we're all in a battlefield. One yeah. team's gonna get knocked out and be like, "Yeah." Who's gonna, gonna go? Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, no. Who's yeah. gonna do One that? One team's gonna be fuh, gone. Fuh. We might have to make another documentary. Because of the another run. Five minute documentary. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah what yeah. is it gonna be? It might be Surviving City again. Facts. You know. Deep and for both of us. See, I don't. I can't. I don't know our fixtures. Um, <clears> like you, we saw City's one. We saw your one. But yeah. I'm not too sure with ours. But it just looks like City's fixtures is so tough. And we need to take advantage. Mm. I, mean, you've got, I mean, you've got, obviously you've got the City game. Uh, you've got a Merseyside derby. You've got Brighton, you've got Sheffield. Uh, you've got Brighton, you've got Brighton. Yeah. And then you've got Europa League in there as well. Sparta, probably two legs of Sparta. Mm. Uh, so yeah, March is a big month. For no, it's, it's tough because especially with the players that we have in terms of injury, we're in injury crisis right now. So it's going to be tough. But March... It's going to be very interesting. Nah, it's going to be a very. It's going month. to be a very interesting. And that six game month. for Arsenal, Man City versus Liverpool. Is going oh my days! I don't know what shirt I'm going to wear that game. You know, you might as well pull up to Anfield. If you're, if you, if it's a big game for Arsenal, pull up to Anfield. No, Prove it. Ramadan. Prove it. Yeah, pull I up to Anfield. Come, can't fast watch traveling. Get me a ticket. <laughs> pull up. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to come. If you get me a ticket, I'll come to the. If I'm around as well, I'll come to the Liverpool City game. You remember he said that guy. I have yeah. to. That's, for me, that's a that's a six yeah, Arsenal game. Pull up. Yeah, yeah. I need to watch that draw, bro. And I'll do the same with Arsenal and and City. Etihad, yeah, we need to go. I'll do the same. I need to find a way to go there, man. I'll do the same. Um, but yeah, that's Bournemouth versus City. Um, <coughs> one note to City. I know we didn't analyze the game a lot, but a couple of stats and facts. Edison has now kept more Premier League clean sheets than any other goalkeeper in Man City's history, overtaking Joe Hart. Now that's 110 clean sheets uh, in the Premier League. Poor Joe Hart, man. It wasn't that hard, was it? <laughs> 110, well, 110 clean sheets in the Premier League is a lot. He's trying to do a pun. Mm. Heart, hard. Trying yeah, to do a pun. Dead pun. Yeah. Same yeah. different word. Because yeah. uh, heart, you can yeah, come on, use it food, for come actual heart, heart. Come on, food. <laughs> you're telling me, so you're telling me your only contribution for the past 20 minutes was this one. <laughs> stay quiet. Well, this time. Come on. Say no. That was no good pun. Roll. Stay quiet. Bro. Say no more. Say no more. Right. You're going to roll. I hope you get bottled when you go burn about next time. <laughs> I just hope after saying Sergio Ramos is di- Gabriel is better than things. Stay quiet, man. Get bold. <laughs> Didn't even say that as well. It's hilarious. <laughs> what? When you said Gabriel's the greatest header over Sergio Ramos <laughs> after what he's done for that club. I didn't even say that. So disrespectful. <laughs> I didn't even say that. That is so disrespectful. <laughs> uh, also, Guardiola has a uh, 100% record against Bournemouth. A better 100 record against Bournemouth than any other side he's faced in. What does that mean? <laughs> 
That the only team he's got 100 percent record against. Oh, oh first. So, oh, so Bournemouth's the only side he's got 100 percent record. He's only ever time beat them. Never ever been drawn. Um, uh, only four players have been directly involved in six plus goals against a single opponent in the Premier League since the start of last season. Haaland's eight against United. Salah seven against Newcastle. Haaland six against Fulham. And Foden has six goals against Bour- against Bournemouth since the start do of last season. Do you know what's crazy? That Haaland's already scored against all the Premier League teams he's faced. He's That's done insane. it at Brentford, and he's done it in a year and a half. That's ridiculous. You know that? Are you serious? Yeah, the, it, Brentford was the last team he needed to score a goal against, and he scored against them. He scored against every year and a half. In a year and a half, he scored against, he scored against every Premier League team he's played against. He done. He done. And then, and then done there's it. the stat of how many goals he scored against Fulham. It's like six or and four against United. Clinical. Yeah. And you're saying he's not clinical? <laughs> of course he's not clinical. <laughs> it doesn't, it's just not taken from, from my point. It's Salah it? clinical. Do, do, yeah, Mohammed. Hey, be smart with your answer. Is he clinical? Is he key? You said is he clinical? Why are you thinking, bro? You know what he is. Let's just forget I think about now, it. Uh, I think now he's not uh, as clinical as before, but before he was. And he said Gabriel's better than Ramos. <laughs> Are you? Come on, you're not going to listen to him. I hear it, All right, let's it. move on to the next game. We have Aston Villa versus Nottingham Forest. Aston Villa won the game 4-2. Um, Ollie Watkins scoring, Douglas Luiz scoring two. Uh, you still got me in still have me too. I haven't let yes. go of him. But man. you're not first Come anymore, on. it's just sad. It doesn't matter about that. It's very and, sad. Um, and uh, Leon <laughs> Bailey, very <laughs> impressive. Leon Bailey! Again. Very impressive. Leon Mama Club Bailey. Uh, we and obviously Fulham had uh, not Fulham Forest had uh, goal scorers Nia Kate and Morgan Gibbs White, which made for a very entertaining six goal thriller. Do you think Bailey plays a uh, bashman in the change room? One hundred percent. For sure. Do you think John McGinn? Do you think John McGinn joins in? There's no media training with Leon. Yeah, no, no, there's no media training. Nah, care miss call goal. Nah, the funniest one. The funniest ones. Yeah, this is just man. Side note: the Nonny Madwick's interviews. We got my bread. You see Nonny Madwick's interviews? I love it. Yeah, love. Hilarious. I love it. And he calls it, and he said act as well. Yeah, act, uh, like exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to see us love fist bump uh, the, the woman. Say, yeah, I love, love him. I need that. Mo- I need more of that, man. You see, um, it was him and um, <coughs> Chuck Wemmicker. Yeah, Chuck Wemmicker. Yeah. Talking about like whether to girls and dates. No, yeah. That's what Chelsea are doing. And then mid table. That's like the mid table. Yeah, 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 I love it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Villa won the game 4 2. Oli Watkins opened the score. score and now, listen, as I, I've been saying it, and, and I want to say it on record. Yeah. Oli Watkins is my favorite striker in Premier League. In Germany. Really? Yeah. Germany. What? He has to go Germany. What do you mean? Euros. 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 Come oh. on. Oh. <laughs> what do you expect? Gabriel's better than Ramos. <laughs> what more do you expect? Of course he's not going to get it. I still that. don't get it. I still don't get it. I feel the, like Liban right now. The Euros in Germany. The Euros is in Germany. So he's got to go oh, Germany. He's got to go Germany. Oh, go. I forgot Euros in Germany. <laughs> yeah, see? Completely forgot. Yeah, no, he's got to go. <laughs> you know what's funny? See, that's well. like, are you <laughs> taller than <laughs> Buffett? Taller? I'm a giant. No, don't say giant. They look at me, I'm Goliath, fam. Do you know why he's taller? He walks. Have you have you seen the way he walks? They look at me like Goliath. Do you know when I'm around them, I feel like I'm a basketball player or something. <laughs> you know, Faisal, <laughs> out of all the players, Faisal said, I need a picture of Makaleli. I said, why? He's like, oh, I'm taller than him. <laughs> you're not taller than him, bro. Yeah, you're you're, you're shorter than me. Sh- <laughs> yeah. You're shorter than me, Hack. And, and he goes around saying I'm 5'8". Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, shorter yeah, than yeah, me. I'm, I'm not even 5'8". How are you talking? you five eight? Wallahi, you're not 5'8". I didn't tell you you're not 5'8". All right, guys, there's a picture right now on the screen of all three of them next to each other. We're gonna take it after the pod. Of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did, we did. I left them, fam. Huh? What's that? What's the Chinese yeah. basketball player called? Uh, I'm them Yao Ming. Yao Ming. I'm Yao Ming. I'm Yao okay, Ming. Okay, do you know you are? You're Yao Ming. The man are I'm Gary Jeremy Coleman. Lin. He's Yao I'm Ming. Yao Ming. I'm Jeremy Gary Lin. Coleman. He's Justin Faisal. Uh, <laughs> You're closer to Gary Coleman than you are to me. <laughs> what the hell is it? Google. Put a picture of no, Gary he's, Coleman. No, he's closer to Brendan Rodgers. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> uh, we're talking about. Aston Villa, only one because, like I said, is my favorite striker in the Premier League. I just, I don't know. I just, how how did we get to that? <laughs> you said Germany. Yeah. You said Germany, Germany, and then yeah, they didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, said, yeah. I brought yeah. up the height. And then you yeah. brought up the height, yeah. So like, From height <laughs> to Germany to Aston Villa. Yeah, well, like, we makes the best but Watkins, your favorite striker in the league? Yeah, man. I'm not sold that. on him like that, you know? Really? No, I. he's an amazing finisher. But he's I, more than that, though. Everything else I'm not a fan of. His link up is not bad. Just everything else I'm very very good. I don't know. I, up, I, 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 just I, like like I think I said it reasonable because I think every he, every facet of like a, what a striker needs, I think he ticks, if not all of them, maybe <laughs> most of them. Mm. Like I think he's very very good. Off the ball movement is very mm-hmm. impressive. On the ball, he's he's pretty good as well. Which a lot of strikers aren't actually like Haaland's not that good on the ball. Everyone mm. can admit that. But I think he's a good finisher. I think he's a good link-up player. Mm-hmm. I think he's a good hold-up player, like hold up the ball. I think he's a fox in the box. I think he, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I ain't heard that saying in time. Fox in the box, in the box, yeah. Yeah. But I think like these are all, there's, mm. like, there's different types of strikers. Yeah, there's yeah. a striker that can hold the ball, there's a striker that's fox in the box, there's a striker that 
is a link-up player. He's all of them. You get the odd one who's like, everything. Like yeah. he's wrapped all, he's all them in one. Like yeah. that's why, and I, I just like his game. I no, think I he's an striker. Yeah. He's very, very yeah. good. And um, they've that's improved the reason a lot, why I liked yeah. Harry Kane, who's similar. Mm. Harry Kane has all those similar traits. He's also a fox, can finish in the box, outside the I box, agree, agree. assist. And I, obviously, everyone knows I'm a big Harry Kane fan. So for me, Oli Watkins, I just I'm a huge fan of him. And uh, they've this, improved this since season, Pat Torres came numbers, back. Yeah. yeah, but this season's numbers, bro. Hey, hey, double hey, double, hey. fourteen goals, ten assists in twenty six mm. games. Was it you or Fuad who had the shot? Me, was it you? Yeah, me man. And then Fuad was the opposite, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuad like Paul Torres is not going to do anything. Yeah, no, no. He's been good. He's been good. Drake songs. He's been very bro. good. Paul Torres is a very good left centre back. Very good left centre back. He's very good very with his good feet. He's actually very good in the he came box. Half time though. It's had on injury problems. Yeah, Remember, he came back from injury recently. Yeah, yeah. It's had injury problems. No, no. I said since he came back from his injury, he had a. Oh him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, came off and back. they brought on Irish <laughs> centre back Andrew Omo Bamidele. No, ever since he's come oh, back, Nigerian Irish, right. isn't it? Clearly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said Irish centre back. So yeah. I didn't hear no <laughs> Irish. In no there. Irish in him at all. Maybe no Mac, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, no O'Connell, no, yeah. no, no, no O, no Keen, no nothing like that. Man, but no, um, yeah, no, and I'm, I like, I like uh, Leon Bailey as well. Recently. He's been on form. He, more, he, he, lively, he went yeah. to Leverkusen. Diaby came and said, yeah, I'm taking that right wing spot. Yeah, he went to Villa. Yeah. Diaby yeah. came leave and said, Leave me alone, bro. Yeah, he's like, leave me alone. He finally left him alone yeah, for a little bit. Why are you following yeah. me? Yeah. But but Leon Bailey, he, goal and assist. Very, yeah. such a good player. That, yeah. that, that assist that he made to Watkins for the first goal was, yeah, very good. was a very good assist. But very good. I can't lie, for Villa, it was good. It's a crucial, crucial win. Because they went on a stretch of not winning and everyone thought, Oh shit! Yeah. It's, it's, it's now United Emery. Mm. Yeah, like, like the like the real. You had a rough everywhere. patch, yeah. Rough, but but now this win at home and that rough patch only lost two games. Literally, oh. yeah. Can't but but it's not even that. Three, yeah, two, three it's games. It's not even yeah. that. I think, uh, I think, as you said, six points. United won. Mm. Yeah, competition won, and Spurs was winning as well. So the, the, of course, a bit of more. Of course, yeah, I agree. A bit more threat, but it's still fourth. Yeah, They're back yeah. to fourth now. They're back yeah. to fourth now. With how bad the other teams are, well, not bad. United are bad, but Tottenham have been struggling with injuries. Mm. They can stay in that fourth spot for a while. Yeah, exactly. But, but now, but in. now, yeah. they're, they're, they're fortunate, of course, they, they went straight to the round of 16 of the Europa, Europa League. League yeah. Now, with Europa League, let's see. Let's but, see. But, but we know what Unai Emery is like in the Europa League. He always prioritises the Europa League. Always. I think this is different now, though, man. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I think with Aston Villa, no one expected this. From and Villa. it's Conference League as well. Yeah, so. and no, because I yeah, yeah, sorry, Conference League. But you know, uh, no. you know Emery, he'll rather go for a trophy Europe, than top yeah. four. Yeah, I know, but for I think he done that with Arsenal, and, and he made him, and he realized that, Bro, that the mistake. Arsenal one, that I was a tr- massive I mistake. About it till now, yeah, we and three I think games, we needed to one, win one game. Exactly. I think it was Brighton, Southampton, Palace. and Palace. We needed to win one game. In all three of those games, he played that bummer stuff. He played brothers like Jenkinson. He was playing idiots, yeah, in, in those team. games. And we lost all four. Did we lose all three? All three. We lost all three. And, and then we, all in a week. All different. in a week and all for us just to get to Europa League final and get touched by Eden. I think like he knew that. I think from that, I think now he learned his lessons. Do you him, think, man. yeah, if you asked, uh, the answer is very obvious, of course. <coughs> very obvious. I would I would say uh, what, the top four. But if you asked every Aston Villa fan, would you rather get top trophy. four? Trophy. Trophy, bro. Or win, or win a few conference. of them will say trophy because you've got, you got them. They say trophy. You've got them older fans who will say, "Yo, I haven't seen a trophy yeah. since the like trophy. 80s trophy. and trophy. 90s yeah, and yeah, whatnot." Yeah. And then you've got the younger generation who will say, "Any Champions League nights at Villa Park." Uh, yo, Villa fans and Villa Park. Course. Yeah, Villa Park. It's a, it's a it's a legendary yeah. like it's a yeah. heritage yeah, it's Premier a League stadium. Yeah, stadium. Yeah, England used to play England used to play there, bro. I played there. Did you? You did, yeah. You did. Did you score there? I got experience. Did you score there? Oh, you got XP, man. That's one of the rare stadiums you haven't scored in. You know, you're a little scared, innit? Huh? A little skit. No, yeah. I actually good experience. <laughs> <laughs> just jumping on every stadium and I just humping. I got a Villa fans in the comments. Like, it's a good question. I think they'd rather. I tr- think, I think trophy. I think yeah. Tr- I would if that was in that if I was in that position. Oh, West Ham mm-hmm. winning that trophy and how big that was for them. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. Most of their fans have never witnessed them win a trophy. Yeah. And they went Shackford and partied, bro. Come on, fam. Bro, like you're you're seeing a team. But, in but you know it's different for them. You know why it's different? Because I, I think like. For couples, for most, they were like fifth, six, they were fighting for that little thing and then they gave up. I think Villa now, this is the first season they're actually fighting for top four. Yeah. So so now the chance is there. That's no guarantees next season. Imagine Chelsea now next season get better, United get bigger, Spurs and everyone get better. That's no guarantees they'll be in yeah, this position again. Yeah, look at Newcastle. is different, like... Look at Newcastle. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm going against you. Thank I'm you. saying they went for top four. No, no. Why yeah. say thank you? You're going point. against You're you. Nice. I never. They got top four last season. What happened? Look at that! Look at them now. This guy's this guy's honestly. Well, I said Newcastle lost the Carabao Cup final. Newcastle lost the Carabao Cup final. Went to the Champions League. If they could reverse, do you think they would have rather taken a Carabao Cup and all top? But that's four? what I'm saying. It's from my point. Newcastle
Top four, which they got top but four. They went out in the group. Huh? They came last in the group. But having that, that doesn't mean nothing. The anthem, the Champions League. They beat PSG. That's good memory. But right. they haven't yeah, got a trophy. It doesn't yeah. mean nothing. Burn, yeah, burn, it's true. Burn, locked up yeah. and but they didn't get a trophy. Nice. That's a story to tell. But was it like they didn't get? If they had the Carabao Cup trophy, it'd be a nice trophy. A trophy. They want to see a parade. They want. They want all of these things, bro. Of course, it'll be interesting to hear. But um, but Villa beat for us four two. Um, Douglas Louise double. Mm. It's got nine home goals this season in the Premier League. Nine why did you not? Ole why Mohamed did you guys Salah, not get him? Ole Mohamed what Salah was wrong with that? Him. We right tried. FPL. We tried. That's what I'm saying. What happened? I thought you meant FPL. Oh, well, Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for what did you thought? I thought you were talking about FPL. Arsenal is there. No, no. I'm thinking. Look, why did you not? I money. swear you was getting him like too much money. But what I like, why I like, we haven't got him is Jorginho wouldn't play the role he's been playing. Mm. <clears throat> no, I'm happy you never got him to be. And Jorginho, I like him. Jorginho, like, I can't say enough good things about that guy. I don't know. Would Douglas Luiz fit your system? <coughs> I don't think he would. He's a great footballer. Would no, we're, right now we're looking for footballer. athletes, bro. Yeah, and he's yeah. an athlete. And he's a technical athlete. That looks like... All his nine now. goals this season have come at home. Yeah. yeah. What? what? All of nine scored nine Premier League goals all at home. Uh, he loves, and he's on yeah. penalties He loves well. Villa Park, bro. Yeah, and only Park. Mohamed Salah with 11 has scored more... Home goals this season, Premier League. That's mad. Then Douglas Luiz. Only that's someone. Man. Then someone who was considered, uh, uh, thing heading into this season, was considered a six. And he's got nine goals. Mad. And you benefit off that, points-wise. Yeah, Deep well, it. Man. You know why? Because I had no more bread left in the appeal. <laughs> and he was just there waiting. Well, I, I had literally, I picked him because I didn't, he was cheap, fam. Yeah. I had nothing left. I said, say no more, my yeah, brother. Like Come true. And then look what he's done for me. Yes, yes. <laughs> look, he paid you back. So now I have a special connection with him. Yeah. Oh, love him. He's only 25 as well, bro. Like yeah. he it's like your special connection with the Brentford player. The one that won you the, <sighs> the header no for the God, FM. Man. No God, there you go. with the league, man. On Fouad's head top. Um, <laughs> but yeah, listen, I mean, I mean, Aston Villa, what, what do we think for them this season? Do we think they are going to... I think they can get Champions League. I think they can. I'm looking but at it, all depend, can it all depends both, on Emery's stubbornness. You can do both. I think you can do both. Well, they're, I'm not, like, table, bro, they're pretty comfortably in top four yeah, right now. You can I know do, I don't think so. have a game in hand over them. Who do you but think can get over them in the Champions League? No, I predicted uh, when we did the, the mid... Uh, what was it? Mid-league. Uh, yeah, mid yeah. Mid-season yeah. I said yeah. thing. I said Spurs was going to finish fourth. Spurs? Finish How many points are Spurs behind them? Five, but they have a game in hand. Who Spurs got a game in hand. It can be two points. It can be two points. Because I thought now with the Conference League team, Focus on both, man. Why yeah, not? Gonna, you said focus United. on one. You focus it's gonna be on Unai. both. Let me let me win a trophy. But, but Unai has a good second batch of players on the bench. That's what I'm saying. He's got yeah, a good. They've got, a they've got what? Two, I don't know if Zaniolo yeah, got in, Zaniolo got injured, right? Uh, or is he still there? Uh, he's still there. I think it was that someone got ACL injury recently. Who was it? Bro, they got two eleven. It's not Zaniolo. It was Kamara that got Kamara, ACL Kamara. injury. Yeah, was, they have two eleven. They do. Like, yeah, pretty much. Just their defense: Digne, Courtney House, Tyra Mings. Adam Chambers, Alex Moreno, Langley, Diego Carlos, Ezri Kansa, Matty Cash, Pau Torres. That's 10 players. That's 10 defenders. For and eight spots. At f- you know what I mean? Yeah. For four spots. They can play a back four of literally Moreno, Kansa, uh, uh, Pau Torres, and uh, let's say, uh, what's it called? Matty Cash. Cash. That's, yeah. that's the back four. They can also play a back four of Ezri Kansa right back, Tyra Mings, um, I don't know, Courtney House, Oh, no, no, forget it. Tyron Mings, Diego Carlos, Luca Dinia. Yeah, that's two and full back right back. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't even mentioned. And you don't need to remove Emmy Martinez. I haven't mentioned Longley. I haven't mentioned Callum Plainers. That's their defense. And the midfield, midfield they've got Tillemans. Don McGinn, you're <coughs> Tillemans, Douglas Luiz, people got Kamara, Emmy Bonilla. Kamara's injured, done his ACL. Huh? Kamara done his ACL. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah. even the defenders are injured. I'm saying they got so much players. And they have Oli Watkins, Leon Bailey, Zaniolo, Musa Diaby, Jacob Ramsey, John Duran. They got like they got they've got very squad. Yeah, they, they can, can go both, for both, both bro. Yeah, they got, yeah, they got both, a thick so. squad. Like you can go there and say, okay, cool, we're losing last fifteen minutes. Let's throw yeah, on yeah. Ollie Watkins. Let's throw on these kind of players. You yeah. know what I mean? Which is pretty impressive. So I think they can compete on both fronts. To be fair, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean Aston Villa four two win. <clears> Forest. What we think about Forest? Because we're talking about thick squads. Mm-hmm. No one has a thicker squad than Nottingham Forest. Yeah, they got hella man. It's ridiculous. They, got they even bought another eight players in January or what it was. I don't know how yeah, they're doing it understand. with the I don't understand. FPL, how with this, uh, Rainer, they're bought, they're bought yeah. Rainer, they're mm. they're How they're doing it with this um this embargo thing, transfer embargo. I, I don't understand how they're doing we'll it. We'll get back but to now you, they're sitting in seventeenth. Everton, have, Everton yeah. have been given four points back. Yeah, they've got Everton have now gone up. Yeah. I've, I've overtaken them, so now they've gone down a bit. I heard they got given four points back, but there's still an investigation for another ten. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Do you know bro. how mad Everton this is? Finished, no, that well, play, I don't know what's going on. They are yeah, yeah. Everton, you know. And then you've also got to take off weight yeah. ten in April, and then you've also got Nottingham Forest waiting for their verdict. That's mad. And then they could drop. They'll drop into the relegation zone. Luton will come out. That's playing with a team's heart, man. That's yeah. not nice. But well, they've done well, though. Uh, Who? Like, like, uh, ever since Nuno came in. New uh, Steve Cooper. Steve Cooper had them. Like, had them. No, but Nuno's a good... For those kind of level teams, 
he's a good man manager and like tactically exactly. very good. Like they play for you can see what they're trying to do. They just don't have the right players. Bro, the moment he came, the moment he came, they beat Newcastle, they beat United. Like, yeah, back to back wins, yeah, but, but since then, even against Arsenal, we struggled. Then, yeah. Since then, they've they won uh, one uh, game. They beat West Ham, no? Yeah, that's the. Yeah. But look at yeah, but look at all the red surrounded by it, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Since since those two games they won. Yeah, yeah. It's better than Cooper. It's better than Cooper. Since those two games they won, they lost to Brentford. They uh, drew to Fort. Tyler Tyler was off an injury, so yeah. Oh, he's back. I want you watch striker. Yeah, proper striker. striker. You know, so it's like it's 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 Cho as well. Cho's been on a decent. They're struggling and their schedule don't get any easier. Yeah, no. Because they have United in the FA Cup next. Then they have Liverpool. Liverpool. They have Liverpool in the league. Okay. And they have uh, Brighton away. Now I've looted away in kind of World Road. There's not easy games. Yeah, yeah. I think it They're might be a Matt Salama situation. Well, for Forest. Mm. There we go. We'll see. They're, lu- they're lucky it's uh, Burnley and who's 20th again? Uh, Sheffield. Or just Sheffield. Uh, they're lucky there. It's, it's going to be like that, eight, that 18 spot. Is no, be Luton between, are still yeah. there as That well. one's yeah, techie. Yeah, that 18 the, 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 spot. The last, be, yeah. the last one. It's going to be between uh, Luton, Luton no, no, uh, Forest, and, and potentially and Everton. Everton. Brentford's yeah. there as well, though. Brentford's <coughs> got one point above Forest. Yeah, but and, they're all right. They're, they're not under investigation. Did you get it? So, like, mm. yeah. I think the team is under investigation. The team under investigation is long. Imagine fighting for relegation now. I got that, yo, Tony. <laughs> it was today, yeah. The game against West Ham today. Yeah. Yep. Either. And we'll move on to that game next. Um, West Ham versus Brentford. Um, Charles Brockage actually watched that game. That was today's I game. Had, um, man. What did you have him last week? Double. I had him. Yeah. Damn. And he put a hat trick. Put a hat trick. Yeah. What do you mean hat-trick. double? Hat-trick. Oh, it was hat-trick. Hat-trick yeah. Yeah. hat trick. I was hat trick. Hat trick in sixty yeah. minutes. It was a double at the first ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. 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 First ten minutes, and then what? They scored the second goal, and I saw Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony done a huddle in the middle of the pitch, like a mini huddle, saying we need to fix up. Come on, like. And didn't work. Didn't work because they got smoked. I like Brentford. Brentford. I do like Thomas Frank, who's his favorite manager. I do like bit of Thomas Frank, but yeah. <laughs> but this season's not been it for him. And I think they've already signed a striker. Like out titular, does this, yeah, well, like, Did you I, see I, they signed a striker? They signed a striker. I can't time. remember his name. No, uh, Brentford. Brentford. They well, signed a striker in the sum, for summer coming. I forgot his name. Oh, nice. Like like um, they've, signed, they've signed a striker for a thing and looks like they're already preparing for life after Tony. They signed Most a striker like similar build to him as well. Most right. like he similar, I don't need to. I think he's from Belgium. I think. They need to. Jared Bone. Where's he going? The reason why I thought he scored a brace. Is because he was always he scored fifteen braces in the Premier League, mm-hmm. and he finally completed his first hat trick of his senior career. He was always the nearly man to get a hat, but he never got a hat trick. Always mm-hmm. scored doubles, doubles, it's doubles, doubles, doubles. He scored a hat before before Rashford. Yeah, Another so one. they're signing for Rashford Thiago from uh, Club Bruges. I Rashford, think they signed what, it for you something. something. Before Rashford, yeah, yeah. announced. Yeah, but Rashford, signed Rashford. MBE, oh. yeah. two so convos at the same time. No, they signed um, Igor Thiago in the summer, but he was wanted by someone else in the Premier League. I can't remember. He's who. Belgium. He's from Belgium, isn't it? Yeah, I said that already. Club uh, he's from Club Bruges, yeah, 30 mil. Yeah. But um, he's a, apparently he's a pretty decent striker. I don't know much about Eagle. Much about but apparently he's similar. He's, he's all right still. Yeah. yeah. No, no, similar they bought him from a Belgium club, but he's from Brazil. <laughs> but um, to be honest, I agreed with him when I said Belgium. Yeah, he's he so dumb. He's like, yeah, yeah, I said that. He's like, yeah, I said that. Why are you giving me false he's still information? Tim Kill knowledge, the middle one. <laughs> well, I let it go. Man. Fam, apparently he's your friend. You didn't even know what club he played for, fam. Chill, fam. Uh, what MLS team did he play for? Go on. Well, okay. Come on. Yeah. No. What? New York Red Bulls, I think. No, bro. LA Galaxy. Bro. I'm just saying. Okay. You're the bro. biggest paddle player. Check you said no confidence, yeah, so yeah. if you're right. LA then. Galaxy, check it, huh? bro. He played for. No service in here. We didn't finish <laughs> off the thing. What let's LA? See, let's what LA? Yeah, what LA? Galaxy. Let's see. Galaxy. Galaxy. New Red Bulls. <laughs> oh, of course. But has he ever played for LA Galaxy? No, I've played for LA Galaxy. Has he ever decided someone for LA Galaxy? I got it wrong. I got it wrong first. Crazy. Right, he played, played for he now. played for a team in the Indian Super League. So yeah, Jared Bowen hat trick. Obviously, Emerson finished it off. Uh, obviously what what a goal, goal by Emerson? Mm. What a goal! A finish. Mm-hmm. What a finish. David David Moyes basically having a very good season. Emerson. Yeah, Emerson's been decent. Very good season. Like, but uh, uh, David Moyes basically saying to everyone, "Fun you lot," talking about yeah. I need to go Moyes out and he just turned around and said I'm the best manager you lot have ever had this is the most success you've ever had and here's a 4-1 win for you lot he's basically telling all the haters safe 4-2 in the end 4-2 scored. yes sorry oh, yeah, Whistle, scored. Whistle scored right at the end I thought it was going to be a tasty game because they had a couple half chances after but um, yeah they brought them I kind of expected that man Brentford have not been it this season they haven't even Tony even Tony uh, like <laughs> he has 
Yes, he scored on even his or debut, even. and he scored all I think every now and then. But yeah. he, it's not a debut just because he just came <laughs> back. No, no, from no, he's, he's technically no but he was what five in five or six in five or some or something something like that. He was on a very good run, bro. I watched him this game. I paid a close attention to my man. Like that's something. He's so sluggish. Not quite Ollie Watkins, is he? Yeah. But, but what do you expect bro you can see the two goals in the first 10 minutes and you're a striker who knows you're leaving in the summer so for a good amount like you're so just going to be bogged where be are you bobbed. going though I hear it There's a, he, he's got a lot of teams Arsenal, Arsenal. you think Arsenal no, Arsenal's not Shark says nah. you can't afford him Arsenal's not yeah, getting him I, feel like I, I don't it. think it's the right problem I, 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 feel, I feel like Spurs will, I feel like Spurs will end up what going what are you talking it. about fam He's a Liverpool fan. Yeah, but yeah. doesn't Liverpool he's, are not getting him. Tony, is a f- he supports everyone <laughs> apart yeah, from Brentford. Yeah, well, I, well I, yeah. Do you get? He supports <laughs> everyone <laughs> apart from <laughs> Brentford, bro. Well, I, I hear it. Bro. I hear it. I hear it. Like, bro, Chelsea need a striker. No, no. Why? We got Nunes. Fam. Chelsea need a striker. They got a lot of money. Uh, um, Tottenham need a striker. They're gonna have money to spend. Like he's got, he's got some good options to go to, man. We'll see, man. I'll, I, I don't even think Spurs will get him. Chelsea's not gonna get him. You know how these competitions come up? There's always gonna be that one person that's gonna shine, and everyone's on you. Let me ask you this. Chelsea not getting him. Spurs not getting him. Why no. do you not think? Huh? Why do you not think they're getting? What who? Ivan Tony. Chelsea or the Spurs? Both. Uh, Chelsea, I think. Uh, I think their eyes on on a bigger money side. I think Victor Osman. Awesome, I think they're gonna go cash in all on Victor. Yeah. Spurs, yeah. I think they they like. Oh, do you it. believe in the rumors of uh, Mbappe goes, Osman goes into thing? PSG. Yeah. It looks it, it looks believable, but yeah. if they don't get uh, Victor Osman, I think they're gonna go for another. Big top. Si- I don't think it's, it's a Tony signing. Yeah. Spurs. I think they like the Richardson thing. I think uh, he's, he's he's done well, and I think they'll continue with that. Only United, I can see, but Highland. They got Highland. Yeah, you don't. Like, know. Yeah. Liverpool. You mean, I don't. Darwin Nunes. I don't think you're gonna get. I him. wouldn't be surprised Arsenal, if Chelsea try to come in for Nunes. Who else is he? Is he gonna yeah. go to? What? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Chelsea try to come huh? in for Nunes. What, Madrid who? Ivan Tony. Him and Mbapp- him and Mbappe and uh, Vinny up front. Just <laughs> him and Mbappe Vinny. That would be lit. That's scary. That would be lit. You know, that's black excellence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. Uh, I was going to uh, say. Uh, but listen. <laughs> West Ham, you know, this is their first win in 2024. It's their ninth game. Hey, ass, man. And they were winless in 2024. It's yeah. their first win. And, and we're about to, all comps. And we're about to approach uh, March. March. Yeah, we're long. In all comps, it's their first win in 2024. And the last three games before this, they'd scored zero goals. And conceded eleven. They needed that win, man. Yeah, and what? Five of them were us, or six of them? Six was us. Yeah, Three was United. Two was Forest. Skin, man. And no goal scored from them. Oh, they by the way, by the way, torrid time. Uh, can I go back Roman to the Arsenal game? Them as well. I think, can I go back to the Arsenal game before? Yeah, before it's, we, true, uh, it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, facts. Uh, next, uh, You're not game hearing these facts. What? Roman Madrid didn't score against West Ham, <laughs> but these clubs did. Can I just add one point <laughs> of the Arsenal and Arsenal? Because I wasn't, I wasn't on the pod. Who did you sign from West Ham to Real Madrid? Robert. Jeez. Yeah. I just to get and he fell asleep right. on yeah, the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Don't. fell asleep on the bench. He yeah. fell asleep on the bench. He's a nasty. Well, I was like, no, no, it's, it, well, the worst side is him at Woodgate. Well, I, a no, but Woodgate had a good debut, no? He scored and got sent off. That's a good debut. <laughs> good debut. Oh, his own goal, man. <laughs> oh, his own goal. I thought he scored. <laughs> no, 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 he scored his own goal on red card. Yeah, it wasn't made for horror, Alfred. Horror, horror. It wasn't made for horror. Alfred. Horror. But let me ask you a question before before we head on to yes. the next game, yeah? Go on. BD. Uh, about Arsenal and West Ham. Uh, before the Arsenal-West Ham game. Yeah. Because I wasn't there. Nah, so like. <laughs> Arsenal-West Ham, yeah? Yeah. You know how when they scored the four goals, they all left? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. You know, you know how when Arsenal scored the four goals in the first half yeah. and, and, and everyone left, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, do you guys believe in that? I I said I was like I find it disgraceful that the oh when the left. fans left yeah well like before you before know, we heard the next top, uh, you know when uh, was it Sheffield United we was winning like three nil we beat them five oh right? when Eddie scored five let's go let's go three yeah and how, what was the end score five nil five nil you know I left that three nil that game and we won that game I left in the sixtieth minute yeah and we won that game if we're and losing we're four nil if we're losing four nil in the first half well I'm leaving when the fourth goal goes in so, uh, yeah thirty seventh minute the fourth goal goes in well I'm going home. Yeah, what's the point? I, I what's the point? Time, I know we've yeah. lost, bro. I did it one time as well. I know we've lost. Not the losing, the winning. I understand the winning. I know we've lost, bro. Why am I there just to score, see us concede more goals? I'm safe. I'm going. I'm gonna watch. Be my passionate. Sh- support your team. Passionate. You know, you know the thing is, Faisal, because you've been to one. You've been to like one and a half free. Real Madrid games. Three games. I've been three, three, games. three games. Yeah. So you don't have the luxury of like you can go and just leave whenever you want. Exactly, because you travel road to Spain. Yeah, you have to imagine oh, yeah, you leave yeah, yeah. at half time. You take Euro the trip's bus, You take the bus. And I think I know Faisal, bro. And he don't go back. If he's there, you know that. they're yeah. playing like Barcelona, for example. Yeah. yeah. And they're four 0 down at half time. You yeah. think he's staying? No, hell no. And and you know he don't. You know he don't go by plane. He walked half of it. You know that, right? To Real Madrid. He knows the route. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He knows the route. He walks across the sea line of Morocco. Yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. Four cutting, new you're bro. out of there, bro. You're cutting, bro. I'm out of there. You think I want to stay uh, there? Oh, line, there's no point. Let's hear some oh, analysis. No, a little bit. Uh, you have hope in it, thinking. I leave 80th back. minute when we're free. I got up. cooked when I, when I said it. I, like, I got cooked. That's when you said what? That I, I tweeted it. I got cooked. That's what did you tweet? That you're not gonna. That you wouldn't leave. No, I said. I said anyone who does it is just disgraceful. Like, like, and and now you're now he's saying I'll do it. <laughs> 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 that's vintage. That is vintage. I know you would, bro. Analysis by 55 Hems, West Ham fan. A much needed win was needed, and we got it. A great attacking display and a nice hat trick for Bowen who's on 14 goals this season um, Suchek played really well and normally West Ham fans would say his passing is bad or slows down the play too much but this game he did the opposite his passing was really good and actually led to the second Bowen goal so props to Suchek obviously Bowen's my man in the match he scored his first senior hat trick and won the ball back in good areas too and we also scored and also we scored more goals in that one game than we did in our previous six Premier League games combined it was a great attacking display. Uh, shout let's move Bowen, on man. now. He's going to enjoy his Germany trip. Exactly. He ain't going to do shit out there, man. <laughs> let's <laughs> move on guy, to... He's going to uh, wear number 20 for no reason. <laughs> another high-scoring game. Selhurst Park. Crystal Palace winning 3-0. What, a new manager, New manager. Well, like, yes. well Canada well done, Goose and, uh, yeah. What was he wearing? Uh, TN's on the bench. Yeah, Oliver Glasner. <laughs> Changed it to three at the back. Franca came in. There you go. He played hard, Franca. Oh, He's so smart. Well, I goes Franca. By, goes goes by five for the back. Chris Richards, yeah. Jordan Ayu and Mateta. That, no, Franca though. Did you see him? I can't lie. I remember, did they not sign him in the summer? They signed him in the summer. I never played him. I never played him. And where did he come from? I remember he was like their money. He was their marquee signing in the summer. I, I can't remember where. where he, was their, he was their marquee signing, I remember. And he just never played. Yeah. And even... Like, and, yeah. uh, even and even uh, like the, the the five at the back, it's been so cr- it's, so it's been so smart for them. And that's been one guy in the midfield who uh, they, 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 for the signing from Blackburn. Yes, they signed him. Seven, I remember they signed him from Flamengo. Uh, from from it, yeah. And uh, when they signed him, I remember I saw like clips of him on Twitter. Obviously, uh, they're good. He's gonna watch Brazil. Yeah, yeah. Really, they're talking about Adam Morton. Adam Morton from Blackburn. He's yeah. been <coughs> he's been good for them ever since they signed him like, in back from Blackburn. I think in Jan, right? Yeah, in China signed him. Yeah, January. Last couple of games, he's been good for them. And no, but he was smart to go five at the back, yeah. but he's known for playing three at the back. Five obviously, the back. listen, no. Burnley had a man sent off in the 30th minute. Yeah, so Shot. Palace are playing against 10 men. I can't believe companies kept this job for this long, you know? It's bad. Well, I, like, it's I know they know he's getting relegated, but it's like... It's a pep tax. It's a pep tax. Yeah, it's very weird, bro, because I watched them. Forget this game in general. Just like the red card is a big, big difference. Every game I've seen Burnley on TV, yeah, they try to play the exact same way and it never works. Championship. That's what like, I hate. You've got guys like Goodmanson. They were yeah, playing yeah. under Sean Dyche. I hate, I hate it. I hate it. How's Goodmanson going to try to play pet ball? Like, I don't understand it. Like, I respect what he's doing. I, I love it. But you can't do what worked in the championship in the Premier League. Bro, you should have switched up with the whole thing. Facts. Bro, I dislike managers, yeah, who just stick <clears> to <throat> one game plan. Yeah, he ain't got plan B. But no yeah. matter what game... Yeah. Stadium circumstances. They stick to what I I hate managers and, and it messes up his resume because of now when he does. tries to go to another team, mm. when this all go when they go go you get relegated, unless he tries to come back up with them, if he goes to a, a Spanish team, if he goes to anyone that's mid table, just above mid table, and they say to him, "What's your bit plan B?" and he goes, "Yes, yeah, this," and they say, "You didn't do it at Burnley." Yeah, no. What happens then? Yeah, but for him, but I reckon company's gonna get the the, the pep tax and then he's gonna get more chances. Just no, he'll get that. a decent Germany job yeah, just because he, he, he came. Yeah. He, he's a pep student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, he's I can't lie, man. I, I, well, I predicted it. I predicted that the, the, the thing they'll go down from early on, even before they, they touched uh, the prem. I think I, everyone predicted them three to go down. No, 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 no. Burnley was getting love because because of what they did. Uh, they, they broke records in the championship yeah. last season. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Mm. Well, this, they, they they had fun in the championship last season. Huh? They had fun. Hell of yeah, fun. Yeah. And Nathan Teller, who's top yeah. of the Bundesliga right now. Yeah, oh, literally. Look, yeah, for real. And people expecting them to let they'll, they'll replicate in, in the prem. Bro, it was a completely different. No, not to the point of winning or not not to the point of coming top. People for the like 15, 14, do similar to to Forest the way they did it. No, 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 no. It's, it's a, and they it's barely made any signings as well. No, barely any signings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barely any signings. Yeah. Well, pa- Palace on the other side. Their manager, obviously, Mr. Glasner, um, is only the second manager to win for Palace his first Premier League game in charge of the club since mm-hmm. uh, after Alan Pardew in 2015, January. He also holds a record for the biggest win by a Chris Palace manager in his opening Premier League game in charge of the club. So, obviously, with the help of a red card, he's so far so good for Palace fans. Change of a system... Got a nice free no win. It's a change of everything for them they with a manager that like that. Because yeah. normally they, they were they tried for that. They were going for the British managers who were just like literally Tony Pulis. I mean they, Pat, they went for Patrick Vieira. They t- they yeah, that's what I was saying. Vieira like they went Tony. They had Tony Pulis's, the Pardews, the Hodgsons, those kind of managers. Didn't work out for them. They went to Patrick Vieira. They said, "Let's try to play a different style of football." It was going well. Pans fans didn't like it. Own didn't like it. Get out of here. Now they're going for like the German machine manager. 
It's Austrian. 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 But he's Sorry. German speaking, it's fine. Sorry, Austrian. Yeah. But he was in the Bundesliga, I remember. Yeah. Was he yeah. not in the Bundesliga? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so um, they went for him and I think they're going to try go for that. Like, new formation. The new like look. Yeah, that, new system. Yeah. That just yeah, non-stop the, pressing, the all that kind of started, stuff. Like, there's players like Daniel Munoz. Which yeah, he was playing very different never, plays. Yeah, yeah. 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 you don't see him yeah. start. You don't see him that, playing. That, that, you never touched the pitch. Hodgson. Adam no, Morton. Yeah, no. I probably forgot about them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Franco. He probably yeah. Franco. He probably thought who's Franco. Yeah. Yeah. Probably saw number eleven for Zaha was still there. Yeah, I got this guy. I got this guy. Training. Remember James James Tompkins came. I didn't even start at the club. Yeah, like it was very weird. Don't tell me Kleiny started. No, no, no. Nathan Kleiny. You know when I see that name on the on the team, she's on the bench. He makes me believe I can play Premier League. Like he makes me believe. thing though, I'm confused about is Dean Henderson. Why did he sign for them? That's the weird. No, not Sam Dean Henderson, wasn't it? No, it was they got Dean. Johnson started. They had Johnson, but they signed Dean Henderson. Dean Henderson took Sam Johnson's spot originally, right? Yeah, but Johnson started again, which is very weird. Like I don't know why Dean Henderson had like, United's like bench to he had a nice bench. little like buzz. I, I, I and he never went to a good team. Cold. Quality, you know. Same. Yeah, Sheffield United. Yeah, the safety he was, was goal for them. I remember yeah. when he played uh, when they played against us when they were playing for Sheffield United. I said this he's gonna be England's number one. Bro, even, that's why I generally even thought even when he had Forest, Forest, he went to Forest and Kieran Navas came and took his spot. And Forest to start saving penalties, but then he had the run out. United as well when De Gea was like in and out of the team and he mm. had that run and United were like yo we've it's, got it's playing goalkeeper it's yeah it's very weird but mm. but a very impressive free win from, pa- from Palace let's hear analysis from Austin CPFC um, great win and a very strong performance he says even before the sending off would have been interesting to see if we could have broken him down as easily in the second half 11 v 11 but given the way Burn is set up I think so Franca gets exclusively garbage time all season Roy constantly criticizes him publicly First game under new manager, he comes in with 20 minutes to go at 0 0, and we go 3 0 up, and he has two assists. That's why we wanted the change. Great start for Glasner. All about the next game now, though. Let's have a look at the next game. Oh, Spurs away. That's going to be a good we'll one see. for Glasner. Yeah, we'll see. Spurs away. The back. Let's see, what, uh, let's see what's going to happen. It's going to yeah. be a good one for Glasner. I think, I think Tyree Mitchell's going to th- absolutely that, thrive in a five at the back. League game. Hmm? I think Tyree Mitchell's going to thrive the most in a five out of the facts. back. He says, yeah, left wing back. Yeah. Facts, facts, yeah. facts. He, 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 facts. Uh, next yeah. game now, uh, Brighton versus Everton. Obviously, like I said, Everton have been awarded an extra four points mm. and they drew this game 1-1. So that's five points they got this weekend. Oh, yeah, they the did, first yeah. time ever first a team, team has got had five points. points. That's crazy. From a one game week. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, they, they smashed it. Yeah, they did. Imagine they won. That would have been crazy. Brighton scored last minute, no? Uh, yeah, I so the game finished yeah. uh, 1-1. The goal scorers were... Just two uh, centre-backs. Branthwaite scored for Everton in the 75th minute and then Lewis Duncan in the 95th minute made it 1-1. And there was obviously also a red card for Billy Gilmore in the 81st minute. There well. was a bad tackle. Very bad tackle. Bad yeah. tackle. It was like uh, on the guy's calf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and there was an assist for Pascal Gross, by the way. He's an unbelievable player. Uh, he to buy him enough. This season in the Premier League, four goals, 10 assists. He's been top tier. He's hit double digits for the yeah. this season. He's top tier. 14 GA yeah, in 24 games. That's why, he's get, that's why he gets the Germany call-ups, bro. You know, he's very good. Yeah, he's he's technically, he's, he's one of the soundest players in the Premier League. Like, yeah, very technical. Like, for the cross... For the, the cross of the goal, for the yeah. cross of the goal, I was—I remember I was watching a star player. He sent me with the second chop. Yeah, like he was—I was so convinced he crossed it in with his left foot that he, when he cut back in, I said, "Whoa!" Even yeah, athletes, yeah, yeah. like, damn, yeah, well, he yeah. still got the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. it was a great cross as well. Like yeah. generally, uh, four only four German players ever in the Premier League have recorded a single season with ten assists or more. Mesut, Ozil. Here's the game. Mesut's one. Mesut's one. Gross is obviously one. I totally got ten. So assists. there's two more. Two more German players. We've got to go for some. I've got 10 assists. Recent years or? Uh, one's recent years, one's a long time ago. Okay. Can we do Balak? Oh, you yeah. said recently years, Habits. a long time ago. Ten Habits. He never got 10 assists in a season. Uh, who's, who, who of a German in the, in the Prem? Podolski's been in the Prem. Never got 10 assists. Uh, you said one long time ago, one recent. Yeah. Okay. Um, Havertz has been in the Prem, no. So Ozil, you said Gross, obviously, that's the reason I brought it up. Mm-hmm. Who else has been in the Long prim? time ago, I would say that the, str- the player that played for Tottenham, the German guy, Holby. What's his name? What's his name? No, what, Lewis Holby. Uh, no. <laughs> Lewis Holby. Oh. <laughs> this guy. Guys like Schalke and uh, Palace. <laughs> Lewis he's got ten assists. Yeah, you yeah. know who I'm talking about. Yeah, he's a striker. Well, and he manages, I, I, and he manages, manages USA. Yeah, what's you his name? Him. He manages USA. Klinsman. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, I said it. Yeah. Shut up. You said Masterman, you would have got a point. So he tapped it in on the line. Yeah, Masterman, you would have got a point there. And Lewis Holby is the other one, you're right. Yeah, Lewis Holby. Of course not. Lewis Arne. Yeah, he did. He had double-double season. Double-double season. What about Haman? Huh? Did he have a Yeah, he, did, he yeah, had a Twitch, he quiet Didn't one. he have a Twitch? Huh? He stayed quiet that one. <laughs> no, because I wanted to say it, but then now it's done. Now the list is done. There's no That's the only German player he knows as well. <laughs> well uh, no, no, I was sick of Liverpool, innit? Uh, uh, Liverpool German players, who else have you had? Eric Chan. 
Emirates. Yeah, good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first, first, good one. Yeah, oh, one. okay, okay. The easiest question of the ball. You play for yeah. Turkey or Germany? Uh, Germany. Yeah. yeah. No, he played for Germany. No, but yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did. The easiest question. That crazy bicycle. Who did he score against? Oh, Chan's bicycle. Yeah, that crazy one. I know. Actually. Yeah, I know. No. no. Bournemouth. No. <laughs> Who was it against? I can't remember. Ooh, it was a Watford. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so yeah, so big up your uh, Pascal Gross. Try he joins that it. list. <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> elite <laughs> list of young Gabriel's better than Sergio Ramos. You think I care? <laughs> big up that uh yeah, big him up for being part of that list now of Klinsman, Ozo and Sane, <sighs> ten plus assists. Very, very impressive. Uh Everton as well, they managed even though Brighton scored a last minute equalizer, the XG states that Brighton were a better team. One point five three XG for Brighton, zero point two nine for Everton. Everton almost snatched, snatched an away yeah. win. Um, Everton were horrible apparently until Onana came on and the game literally changed. And Brighton could barely pass that midfield. Um, it, he won all his duels and he cleared out the midfield while also progressing the play. So Onana did really, really well. Barca, isn't it? Huh? He wants that Barca, Barca move this, this summer. Who, Onana? Yeah, uh, Barca wants him. He's a good singer. If he get ends up at Barcelona, <laughs> football's yes. gone. Yeah. Football's gone if Barcelona signs him. They won him bad. Guys, ass, bro. Guys are saying I want him at Arsenal and that. No. Barca, f- uh, Barca keen for him still. Is it? Yeah. We wanted him. Yeah, I know which, which yeah, Thank God we hard. didn't get him. Oh my God. I like that would have been horrendous, you know. Faisal. Imagine Jorginho and Declan Rice in midfield. I mean, Jorginho. Imagine that's Onana and Declan Rice in midfield. That what, stinks, what, bro. Onana Rice? Oh my God, that smells. Oh, oh my. Imagine Onana, Ew. Frankie and Pedri. <laughs> oh, that is horrendous as well. Oh my God. Where's Gavi in that midfield? Huh? He's on the left wing. <laughs> He's on the left wing. What are you going to say? Where did you sign Woodgate from? <laughs> Mizbah. Huh? Mizbah. Say the team properly, fam. So you sprint. thought he was going to say Tottenham, innit? No, no, it's the way he's he saying it. Mizbah. Good try, though. Just take say it properly. Say the team properly, Big fam. man, stay here for jokes. <laughs> 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 stay, stay for jokes. Big man. Say um, nice, you'd stay, you know, say stay for jokes, like. Say nice, and misfit, me and you. Everton, do you think now, obviously you said they still want an investigation. Yeah, they're still for, they the, for a new one. Yeah, they're yeah, always yeah. going to stay like, up there. Come on, that's... How what's the emotions of Everton fans right now? Yes, like? if everything's kind, and but they've edge, got a new stadium, and they might they might be playing it in the championship. Nah, they must crazy. Be I mean, right now, they, they, those four points helped them. Mm. They're kind of out of that little battle. Mm. They got twenty five points now. They're five points ahead of the relegation zone. If they lose ten points, they're going right back in there. Mm. But they'll still get out of it regardless, man. You reckon? I think Sean Dyche is too good. I of think manager. Luton fans are desperate. Everton get. Oh uh-huh. yeah, oh yeah, they're praying for it. Deducted. They're praying for it, and their manager Leng as well. He's staying in Premier League. Rob Edwards. That's yeah. good milk, you know. That <laughs> <laughs> is good milk. Good milk. He's got a lot of fans. No, that's for the one percenters. Oh, one percenters, just comment good milk for me. That's yeah. all I want to hear. Here. It's good milk. <laughs> you see that money, yeah? Loot and got. I thought they were going to invest in their stadium. Nah, they weren't going to do that. I already it's told it's you the plan. The so where's the lag, fam? Where's the money? Oh, they didn't play it. I, I know. I already know what they're doing with the money. They're smart, bro. Let me break down what Loot are doing. They got promoted. They got 200 mil, yeah? They said, you know what? We're going to firm the Premier League for one season. If we go down, we go down. We get parachute payment for going down. Mm. It's another 100 and something M's. So you leave within a year and a half, you get 300 M's roughly. Mm. Yeah. And then they bolster the team. Then they go, the to the Premier, they go to the championship. They sign like, there's no financial fair play in the championship as well. Mm. They go crazy in the, in the championship. Bow, bow, bow. Sign all the top players. Then they improve their stadium. They come back to the Premier League in, two, in a year after that. They have a Premier League standard stadium and they have Premier League standard players. There you go, man. Hey, let's I fucked f- it, bro. I think now... Where they've messed up is they've got Barkley balling out, so they can't go back to the championship. Yeah, exactly. He's not going to play championship. Yeah, he's not going to play championship. They've got who Sambi's else? Sambi's going to leave. Lukonga. They've got Sambi. They've got Adebayo, who's actually decent. They've got yeah, Morris. Get they've move, got they go Morris. Get. Like, they've got some decent players. You know that? Did so. Adebayo play from them from uh, conference? No, that was no, another no. player. That, that was uh, another player. Uh, Perry. Uh, the, he played uh, with them Congolese from the... Congolese guy. He played with them from the... Yeah, from not Rinidi, right? No, nah, not Ren. Oh, no, they guy. played from the. He played all the way from the bottom to the, the top. First play yeah, in his first play. That's lit. And they gave him some bum minutes as well. I remember. I think it was against Brian. Pelly, Roddick, and Panzu. That, yeah. yo, that, and Panzu. Uh, that theory of yours, well, like, <laughs> yeah. Sounds right, isn't it? Sounds legs. Right, it's got legs. Sounds right, isn't it? Because yeah. I can't lie. If that works, it's, they're slapping when they come back to the Premier League. Legs still. Yeah, it's got legs. Because remember, they, they 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 postponed. I think one or two games before the season started because there were the the stands. There were stands. Yeah. So I feel like they'll do that. Meet standards. Yeah. <coughs> but um, it, it, yeah. yeah, someone's garden is gonna get knocked off. But <laughs> we didn't get any correspondence from Tactical Regista to tell us about the field. No, game. Tactical yeah. Regista. Where is he, man? But oh, I look forward to hearing nah, about nah, you, man. No, no, no. But listen, Brighton are in seventh place. You uh-huh. know they're a bit quieter this season, but. 
they're in a position where I think that's where they deserve to be. They're outside the top six. After the top six team positions, mm. they are the best team in the Premier League outside of that. So in that seventh position, they're having an up and down, like yo-yo type season. Do you think Dezebi get, gets a good move? Huh? Do you think Dezebi gets a good move after this season? United maybe. To where? What's the that's, 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 that's not a good move. Do you know I think Sev would be probably the best move he could do if he goes to Napoli? I think that'd be an amazing move. No, no, he said uh, he said in Italy. The only you would imagine it. Uh, uh, Italy yes, Asulo. Uh, but the only team he wants to manage in Italy is AC. That's the only team. He said it. AC Milan. Yeah, they're because, struggling. Because childhood. Uh, not not childhood because he's favorite. Like favorite. Uh, but they're they're struggling though. I think Barca. Barca, nah. I, I, think a man, a I think a manager like him with the way they're struggling. It's like United. Why would you touch Barcelona? Pitch might be too big for him. Man, Barcelona. Yeah, it would be big, but you would want to touch Barca. Of course, you want to. No, You'd no, why, touch no. It. It's like Man United. Why would you want to go there? Like right now, the way they're struggling. Yeah, but you like want to be a like, Yeah, but, but financially, financially, they, they're, they're, they're yeah, financially, they couldn't yeah. get three players. They couldn't yeah, yeah, get yeah, three players. It's the same as United. You go there and you're like, yo, I want to change it, but it's so bad from the top down. What can you do? But I feel like Napoli would be a good move. Just can't turn down. Barca, you can't. United, also the money contract you get as well. You're forgetting that, bro. The money gonna get offered to managers, clubs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's see what happens to Deserbi. He's obviously proven himself as a top, exciting coach, but. Brighton obviously love him. And Brighton usually plan the ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pot I remember gone, the Zerbi bro, straight was already I in. always remember that interview. That's ridiculous. I always remember that interview on TV when they said we already know who we're replacing the Zerbi with. Like, yeah, they already have the Zerbi replacement. Who do we think that person is? What, did the Zerbi like, replace like, right someone? Now, that, like, someone it'll be someone NST. niche, someone no, someone no one really niche. knows. Yeah. It'll be one of those like lower league German managers who have like elite, they're elite managers, yeah, yeah. but they just don't have the funds and the squad. Maybe Thiago Mato. Love, he's very good manager Bologna, right now. Yeah. He's doing he's, very he's well. Doing, he's, he's, doing manager, he's doing very well. He's got interesting like ideas. I do. Ideas. Yeah, I remember, I remember when he was at PSG, he was playing like two at the back. Yeah, he was doing some mad stuff. Yeah. Like he was playing two, only two defenders, crazy, and yeah, the rest yeah. were like midfielders crazy, and strikers. Crazy. Maybe he's, he's top six now. I think top six, top seven. Uh, I'll swear, he's doing well. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the final game, and it was Wolves versus a Sheffield United. What a game, though! I what? Hey, hey, Come on, hey, hey! You did not watch that. I watched it. You did not watch. I watched it. Where was you when you watched it? Uh, where, where, where was I? <laughs> yeah, where was he? I was in Doha. Doing what? Um, huh? See, the guy didn't watch the game. I watched the game, bro. The, guy didn't the watch game. The game. Simple question, yeah. Huh? What time was the game <laughs> the, in Doha? The game ended one nil. And yeah. what day and what time did you watch that game in Doha? <laughs> what day or what time? <laughs> yeah, I remember I was watching Arsenal games at eleven p.m. I was watching United games at six thirty. What game and what day? Yeah, it took place on a Sunday. It was yeah Sunday. And what it was time? The only game on the Sunday. <laughs> 2 p.m. <laughs> Wait, when did you fly back? It was the same day as the Liverpool game. It was in the air. Cup final. It was in the air. You must have been on the fl- in the, what time was your flight? Free Wi Fi. What time was your flight? <laughs> <laughs> your flight? Wi-Fi was, what time was your flight? Doha time. Uh, Doha time. It was. 3 p.m., uh, right? It was supposed to be 1 p.m. Yeah. In Doha. And it got delayed. But it got delayed. Okay, so England is three hours behind. That's why, uh, to like. Uh, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. <laughs> yeah. And so got de- so your flight got delayed by four hours for you to uh, watch I it. Watched the, I, I watched the game on the flight. Okay. Are you watching on the flight, yeah? I was that committed uh, to it. Yeah. Like, uh, and to the internet it. is that good on the flight? Yeah, amazing internet. Well, Wolves are in great form. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> Sheffield United are rock bottom in the Premier League. Wolves are in great form. Six wins from nine now in the Premier League. They now move up to eighth in the, t- in the table. Amazing. What a job. Wolves are eighth. The manager, <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't, <laughs> Let's talk this. about Gary O'Neill. I need, to, I need to see Wolves eighth position. I don't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, after today, I think the ninth now. West Ham won. But joint, but, but where the hell did they? Get? What, bro? Gary O'Neill. How are they bro? above Newcastle? Gary O'Neill, bro. And Chelsea. Come on, man. Like Aye, Gary, I got like Gary O'Neill. Chat to me about Gary O'Neill, Faisal. He's he's done. He he's done a. Who great, was on to Gary O'Neill again? Him. He's done a great. He, he's yeah. done a great comeback. And, and, and who's the manager um, you were supporting so hard? Areola. Areola. And there's Anthony. what? There's a 10 point difference between them. What, what, what you compare Wolves team with the Bournemouth team? Come on, like. Come on, the level of talent between both teams. It's like. very similar, bro. You should have said that before when you're, when you're violating them. Huh? The level and talent is I, very similar. I've been similar. saying that. I've been saying about, uh, about Gary. But listen, Gary's done a great job. I feel like uh, what, uh, what, uh, I what he's done. Now listen, one thing about me is that unlike Lee Ban, if if I feel like something changed, if I feel like I was wrong on certain things, I'm not wrong about it. By the way, I just feel like he's changing. Like I feel like he's done he's done well. Yeah. Um. Despite despite all the injuries and despite everything that's happening, well done to Gary. <laughs> he, he's got a thing. He, he's slowly. He hasn't got my approval yet, but he's getting there. I'm Sorry. sure he's gutted. Yeah, I'm sure he's devastated right now. I'm sure he's, he's gutted. Man. See that new striker they signed as well. Yeah. Who did they sign? Uh, that um foundation striker that they've got. You know, you didn't see it. 
Foundation. You didn't see it? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Playing in the disabled league. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's got, got fair, oh, the left foot. He's, he's got, got Haaland. Foot. He's no he's right. He's got a rocket on his foot. They got Haaland in there. Yeah, literally they got Haaland. You ain't seen it. He lied. I'll show you after. I think he lied. Yeah, he might have something very minimal. They got Haaland in there, man. You didn't see that new shot. That's why they're where they are in the league because of him. I sent you the video, fam. Right, cool. Quality striker. Right, cool. Quality striker. I like it. <laughs> Quality striker. Sarabia scored the only goal. Sarabia. I Nori got the assist. Uh, let's I Nori's having a good season. Let's say he is really, actually really, really good. He's playing on the left Where's wing, season? basically. Liverpool, Liverpool, one of them. You're team on him. Come on, you don't want him to survive to thrive. What, Neto? And now this is from our favourite all fan, probably not SN. Uh, we have now won as many Premier League matches this season after 26 games played as they managed in the entirety of last season. They won 11 games this season. And that same match they've won as last season, the entirety of last season. They've only reached 11 wins quicker in the Premier League two seasons ever, 2018-19 and 21-22, mm-hmm. after 23 matches and 25 matches, respectively, uh, which is unbelievable stat and should give us all the hope and belief in Gary and project going into the last stages of the season. Overall, much needed three points to revive our home form. And despite us not being at our best, we were able to pick up the win. And that just shows the quality our squad has. Although it is a team that is virtually relegated already. I'm talking about Sheffield United. That is true. Oh, them guys, like, they're out, get, man. get them down, man. Literally. Yeah, Sheffield United. Getting down, man. Ah, yeah, man. It's not looking good for getting them. Getting down, man. It's not looking good for them. But um, obviously, I didn't get to watch much of the game. I'd love to hear more analysis from you guys. And if there's a Sheffield United fan out there, please let us know. Because you guys are obviously right over the table. Um, last but not least, <laughs> I want to know what they got to say. What they? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, I want to know what they got to say because I want to hear from their point of view. Uh, but let's go into our last, <laughs> my, our last section, which is our FPL update. Oh, can and can uh, can and uh, food orders arrived. Then, oh, this just foozies. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys, ordered four. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Two yeah. chicken escalopes. Come on, bro. Chicken escalopes. Come on, bro. <laughs> And a smoothie. <laughs> and you, you, know, you know, the whole time he was in Qatar, he kept saying, yeah, I'm on a diet, I'm on a diet. Come on, man. Bring me all my munch, please. <laughs> let, let, no, let's prove it now. Let me take a no, bite. No, no, let no, me no, take no, a no, bite no, of no, every no, single one. I leave it. Let me take a no, bite of it, yeah? Feel, and feel, then we feel, see if it's yeah, mine. Yeah, they're, huh? they're not getting promo. Can I, they're not getting promo. all the burgers and, and they're, they're, they're not getting promo. Come on, fam. No, but you're smart. You eat one now, eat one half an hour, then one in an hour. I won't. I'll eat both of theirs. I won't eat your pork one. I went, I went here. Uh, <laughs> all right, FPO time. Um, he got extra pork. Is that you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, FPO time. Uh, the SDS uh, group, <laughs> SDS cast it. members and uh, crew. Stuff for the love. What's going SDS on? Cast please, crew are all part I, of do me league. one favor, shots, please. Just don't talk about my FPO. That's all. So, I want. Ilias, you are in twelfth out of fourteen of us. Um, I'm twelfth. You have moved out to fourth, and you're talking a lot of smoke. Yeah, Faisal, game, you are <laughs> down there in 13th. He's I've quit playing, bro. I've yeah, moved down to say. second. And play. ladies and gentlemen, the person who sat first in our league, I can say a million times, won't guess. Abs. No. Um, Fuad. No. The guy that's. That, that Lears? Nope. Sean? Nope. Oh, who's been on the pod? The push Expressions. Button. He's not even in the league. But I'm just million guesses. I'm just guessing everyone that's been on the podcast. Oh, yeah. No. Chelsea Rory? No. Can I, can I, can I tell you who? Who? Matisse. Where? <laughs> you guys are all absolute f- shit. <laughs> Deep it. I don't even know anything about ball. You guys talk about ball for a living. Every single day you wake up talking about this, talking about that. You support your teams, represent this or this. Or. I'm just out here breathing, <laughs> just chilling. And I'm number one. You guys should be all ashamed, disgraceful, man. You guys are all f- shit. <laughs> now, if you my, guys, I never had Mercer swear before. If you guys don't recognize our voice, out here breathing. if you guys don't recognize our voice, all right? No, it's not Renady. <laughs> I forgot it's, Renady's name. <laughs> it's Mercer, the cameraman, and I wish he was here today to bring him in and let him <clears throat> talk his smoke. But he wow. sent that voice to the group chat. He's currently first. In our league, I don't know how this happened. The guy doesn't know nothing about football. He came out of nowhere. He is first. Yeah, came out of bro. nowhere. Literally. He's currently sat first. You can see the screenshot for proof. It's insane. Uh, so now it's getting tense. But uh, let's go into the SS League where all of you guys are involved in. We've got thousands of you guys in this league. I'm currently in the top thousand. I'm like 987th place. I want to read the top 10. Can I give a shout out to the number one in SS League? Yes. I want to give him a shout out. You can do the number one. First place. Who let the dogs up? Who let the oh, dogs who let, up? Yeah, who he, let the dogs up? Whoa, he's got 1,700. Goodness me. He's first. We've got Alice in Wonderland, which is a great name. We've got him second. 
which is Shoei Kayani. Got Blue, Blue, Ni- Doom Nine. He's been there for a while. Yeah. He's been there for a while. He's holding it down. He had a decent week. We've got how many? What are we going up to? Top ten. We got D Luke, decent. Sterling Duel. He's the only person in top ten who stayed in the same spot. Yeah, consistent. I respect it. We have got Meza Özil. Might be the, actually really the real Meza Özil. You know that. Alright, it's Meza Özil in our league, bro. Yeah, we got four two three. We're on Gegen Press. That might be Jurgen Klopp. Smart as well. Put it out in there as well. Oh, at Snake FPL. Yeah, I'll give him a little shout out for that one. We got Stevie Wanderers. Who's eighth? We've got Tej, who's ninth, and then tenth. Unlucky to eleventh, who just missed out because they're level on points. Bell FC. So shout there out to them. There we go. Shout out to them. Decent. Shout out to you guys. As you know, the prize for winning, you have to get in contact with me at the end of the season. You can have a decision between five hundred pound cash prize or an appearance on SDS what? podcast, and you get Isn't to choose that? your table. Appearance on SDS. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is the FPL league finally as well. I forgot to show this. Thank you so much to my boy Yusuf. Uh, who plays for the Qatari national team, Asia Cup winners. He started in the final wearing the number nine shirt when they won. So thanks so much for giving me the shirt. Bit upset appreciate I didn't get one, but appreciate you so much. Um, but yeah, thank you that. Thank you guys. It's our first round up back. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a good, good one. I really, really enjoyed it myself. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Time for you to eat four sandwiches.